Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Lord of All, My Territory Can Infinite Evolution. Chapter 31. Although there is only one soldier now, soldiers are more valuable than more soldiers. Low-level soldiers are not of great effect to him. He does not want the soldiers he finally summoned to die on the battlefield like that. This is why he directly upgraded the soldier's level to level 10. Summoning soldiers requires 1,000 soul coins. Upgrading to level 10 costs a total of 850 soul coins, which adds up to 1,850 soul coins. If he wanted to summon thousands of soldiers, Zhou Yan thought it would be better to think about it while dreaming. Now, the main source of soul coins still relies on opening treasure chests and killing monsters in the wild. If you don't take advantage of the wilderness reclamation rewards now, there will be no such additional rewards after the newcomer trial is over. When I brought Zhang San to the Spirit Vein Bamboo House, I saw that Gen MI was already piled with various equipment. The open soul coins and spirit coins will go directly into his account, but the equipment and the like will not, because he has not yet built a territory warehouse. After the warehouse is established, he can authorize Gen MI to put all the equipment into the warehouse. So much equipment. He didn't have time to keep checking the territory news, so he was surprised when he saw the pile of equipment. Lord, after Gen M.I. saw Zhou Yan, she stood up and saluted again. Zhou Yan nodded and stepped forward to check out the equipment. Although most of them were ordinary equipment, in the early stage, the equipment was still very scarce. He found a black iron suit, plus a black iron level other spear, and asked Zhang San to wear it. Thank you Lord for the reward. Zhang San knelt down on one knee again. Don't kneel down all the time from now on. If you're not used to it, just clasp your fists. Zhou Yan taught him the ancient fist holding ceremony, which was much simpler and more convenient. Yes, Zhang San quickly answered with fists in his hands. That's good. Zhou Yan looked at it and found that in addition to equipment, Gen Mi also bought some decorative items, such as tables, stools, fabrics, and other daily necessities. There are many treasure chests, so it is normal to be able to open something like this. Zhou Yan saw several pieces of legal equipment one of which was a legal staff, which was particularly suitable for Gen M.I. to use. Item. Holy Spirit Staff. Quality. Bronze. Durability. 45 40 fifths. Attribute 1. Mental Power plus 8. Attribute 2. Consumption minus 10%. Equipment Requirements. Mental Strength 8. Introduction. All enemies will be destroyed in front of the Holy Spirit Staff. Closing Square Bracket. As for the other pieces of equipment, they were all other black iron level armors. There was nothing too surprising about them, and they couldn't be matched with each other. He could only replace them with a few other pieces of equipment. Wait until you have suitable equipment, then put it on Gen MI. Take these equipment, we will have a big battle tomorrow. Zhou Yan handed the equipment to Gen MI. Thank you, Lord. Gen MI happily put away the equipment. Gen MI is born with spells, just like Diao Chan knows swordsmanship. She only needs to acquire the corresponding skills to be able to explode with greater power. There is nothing he can do about the skill books now, and none of them have appeared in the trading hall. It's only the second day, how can the skill book be revealed so easily? Even if it appears, few people will sell it. Even a very lucky person like Gen MI could not open a skill book, which shows how low the explosion rate of skill books is. Smell good. A figure came over carrying a pot of fragrant barbecue, placed it on the newly appeared table, and said, come and taste my barbecued meat. Chenur's craftsmanship is really getting better and better. Come on, let me introduce to you. This is Zhang San, the newly summoned soldier. Zhou Yan replied. Zhang San pays homage to the two mistresses. Zhang San cupped his hands and said. Zhou Yan. Diao Chan. Dot. Gen M I. Young man, you have a great future and will definitely make a big difference in the future. I, I am not the mistress, I am just a person summoned by the Lord. Diao Chan was still so shy, lowering her head, feeling very embarrassed. Gen M I, on the other hand, was much bolder. She also replied, I just showed up too. Okay, okay, let's eat meat together. Zhou Yan said. How dare you? Young man, eat with the Lord. Zhang San was just a soldier and quickly refused. Don't be so polite. In my place, as long as you are happy, I will let you sit down and eat together. 
Zhou Yan still forced Zhang San to sit down and eat meat with them, and also drank the spiritual spring water he specially left. After eating and drinking, Zhang San went back to the white robe ghost soldier barracks to practice martial arts, while Zhou Yan came to the wall with two beauties. He took out wine demon seeds and started planting them right on the edge of the wall. Eight seeds were planted evenly on this wall, and then the remaining spiritual spring water was taken out and started to be watered. The ground squirmed, and the wine demon seeds that had been watered by the spiritual spring water quickly sprouted, took root, and grew vigorously. In a short time, they were half a meter tall. Lingquan fruit is indeed a good thing, but it's a pity that there is no more today. I must save more tomorrow. If you want this vine demon to have combat power, you have to wait for it to grow up. I believe that with the help of the spiritual spring water, it won't take long for eight powerful warriors to be added to the territory. And he's the kind of warrior who doesn't need to eat. Zhou Yan chatted a lot with the two beauties about the future plans of the territory, and found that the two women also gave him a lot of suggestions, which made Zhou Yan feel very good. They walked around the territory and looked at the various foods and fruits in Spirit Field. He still underestimated the growth speed of Spirit Field. It only grew so much in one day. It is estimated that he will be able to see it bloom tomorrow. He can grow a batch of food in a few days, which is what his Spirit Field can do. In the real world, no one has been farming for a long time. They rely on various farming lords to grow food. Not only does it have high yields and short cycles, it also does not require any seasonal requirements. All year round, various supermarkets and markets sell a variety of fresh vegetables and fruits. You can even see some fruits and vegetables with spiritual energy, but the prices of such fruits and vegetables are relatively high, and ordinary people rarely buy them. Those who have not awakened to the Lord space are not afraid of not having a job. Both the lords and the country need a lot of labor, and there are a large number of job vacancies every year. Every year, the country calls on young people of marriageable age to get married and have children as early as possible to make a contribution to the country. The country even runs a lot of advertisements in order to help young people have babies early. Unfortunately, people nowadays, especially those lords, basically spend their time on their territories. In addition, as their strength increases, their lifespan increases, resulting in many lords not getting married so quickly, and many even not getting married and having children. Anyway, the state's subsidies for newborns are enough to allow them to grow up to the age of 18 without any burden. Just because the Shenlong kingdom is strong and powerful, it is naturally confident. Speaking of this, we have to talk about the heroes and people summoned by the territory. Strictly speaking, they are not the aborigines of Kanglin Continent, only Zhou Yan is. Therefore, they cannot come to live in Kanglin Continent using ordinary means. But there is still a way. This requires obtaining special props. Through props, anyone who comes to the territory can come to Kanglin Continent through props. Some can exist forever, but some are one time. If it is permanent, the Lord will need to register them and become a member of the Lord's household registration. As for how to arrange the identity in the household registration, Zhou Yan was not very clear. He only knew that there was such a thing. However, for the lords, they spend most of their time on adventurous expeditions in the Lord Continent, but they will spend very little time in Kanglin Continent. Whether in Kanglin Continent or Lord Continent, the flow rate of time is the same in both. It is not ruled out that there are time differences in some special places, but such places are still relatively few. The world of lords in Kanglin Continent is recorded as being 15,000 years ago. As for 15,000 years ago, there are only countless legends left. Zhou Yan's soul came from the earth, and Diao Chan and the others also came from there. Although they did not belong to the same era, Zhou Yan did not think this was a coincidence. That colorful lord space was most likely transmigrated with him, and was only noticed by him when he awakened. Now that Diao Chan and he have all come to this world, he will let these people create a mythical empire with him in this glorious world of lords. A mythical empire for lords. In the past, he was just an ordinary person, and naturally he did not have much ideals and ambitions. But he never settles for mediocrity. Mediocrity is just because you haven't had the chance to change your destiny. Returning to the spirit vein bamboo house, Zhou Yan directly hugged the two women into his arms and walked towards the bed. 
Jen Mi did not resist, and obviously accepted Zhou Yan very much. Diao Chan was still so shy, which made Zhou Yan like it very much. Of course, they were just resting. The third day of the newcomer trial. They still got up early, had breakfast, and waited for the trial to begin. Zhou Yan was the first to arrive at Spirit Field and was surprised when he saw that the grains not only bloomed, but even began to bear fruit. These grains grow too fast. Diao Chan was also very surprised. She and Zhou Yan had just planted these things yesterday morning. It had only been one day, and they were already bearing fruit. The speed was really too fast. I thought it would mature tomorrow, but it seems that I underestimated the effect of spirit field. According to his prediction, some of these grains would mature in advance at noon. The growth cycle of each crop is different. Just like those fruits, they do not mature so quickly and need to be acquired before they can mature. It looks like we can have a meal of food grown in spirit field tonight. Zhou Yan was also very happy. He felt a sense of satisfaction eating the food he grew with his own hands. Lord, there is a monster coming. Zhen Mi's mental power is strong and she can sense the monster in the distance faster than Diao Chan. Well done, we'll fight out after the clearing is over. Zhou Yan took Diao Chan, Zhen Mi, and Zhang San to the outside of the wall, waiting for the monster to attack. However, Zhou Yan looked at the eight wine demons and went to the Lingquan first to get a lot of spiritual spring water. After watering, Vine Wood Demon, Vine Wood Demon is growing at a speed visible to the naked eye. The more spiritual spring water is poured, the faster Vine Wood Demon grows. The growth of Wine Demon is related to the amount of spiritual spring water, which is easy to handle. Zhou Yan did not expect such a result, so he increased the dosage. A wine demon poured 10 liters of spiritual spring water before stopping. The vine demon grew rapidly and soon grew to the size of a tree, 7 or 8 meters high. The vines also became very long and very powerful. Vine demon has completed its growth and started evolving, evolving into vine demon. After vinewood demon completed growing, it was shrouded in a colorful light and then transformed into a woman. Zhou Yan, he didn't expect this at all. I'm so happy. The little girl pays her respects to the Lord. The vine demon was dressed in green clothes. After transforming, he came to Zhou Yan and bowed to Zhou Yan. No courtesy. Zhou Yan replied quickly. He had no idea that such a seed could have such an effect, which really surprised him. After looking at the appearance of the vine demon, whether it was appearance or temperament, she belonged to the female divine level category because he found that she looked very much like the same person. He quickly checked the information about the vine demon. Name, can be named. Gender, female. Age, 18. Race, monster race. Lord, Zhou Yan. Quality, SSS. Loyalty, 100. Level, 0. Upgrade required, 40 soul coins. Charm, 30. Basic 3. Luck, 5. Base 0.5. Strength, 6. Base 0.6. Physique. 6 basic 0.6 agility 2 base 0.2 spirit 2 base 0.2 talent transformation incarnation of fujiki's true form skill vine whipping introduction evolved by mysterious energy basic attributes increased tenfold it was originally a vine seed that was transformed by chance closing square bracket monster race after seeing the race of the vine demon i was a little surprised this could be regarded as a way to be transformed into a demon. Thinking of the special nature of the Color Lord space, he readily accepted it. From now on, your name will be Si Tang. Zhou Yan said. Si Tang thanked the Lord for the name. Si Tang was very happy. This name and appearance were completely integrated with the character in his mind, and they looked like the same person. There are seven more plants that can be watered. Zhou Yan once again watered the remaining seven vine tree demons with ten liters of spiritual spring water. Seven colorful rays of light appeared, and the seven wine demons transformed into seven men and women respectively. However, their quality is not as good as Si Tang, they are all S quality. Your name is Si Hong, your name is Si Ying, your name is Si Si, your name is Si Wa, your name is Si Wu, your name is Si Hu, your name is Si Long. The eight of you are all brothers and sisters. From now on, only the eldest sister, Si Tang, will be the leader. Zhou Yan named them one by one. 
including Si Tang. There are a total of five women and three men, eight monster race members. Thank you, Lord, for the name. From now on, my eldest sister, Si Tang, will be the leader. The seven vine demons quickly replied. Not long after, a group of monsters appeared outside the forest. They are all a group of level five wolves. Black wolf, white wolf, gray taro. After the wolves approached the attack range of the defense tower, Storm Tower took the lead in attacking. Cyan magic began to condense on the tower, and then a storm appeared, forming a violent wind and attacking the monster. The strong wind howled, forming a tornado, attacking straight towards the wolves. The wolves were swept up and fell heavily to the ground. Under the storm, no wolf could survive. What a powerful storm tower. Zhou Yan was very happy. The power of this storm tower was much stronger than that of the flame tower. Even the attack range was several times that of the flame tower. A dozen wolves were easily killed instantly. Considering that the level of the storm tower is level 20, it is very normal to be able to instantly kill a group of level 5 wolves. Flame tower soon launched a flaming attack. A fireball rolled out, exploding among the wolves, burning in flames, and five or six wolves were killed by the raging flames. Zhou Yan and the others were standing at the gate. He had already upgraded the eight vine demons by several levels and equipped them with all the equipment they could use. With their current strength, they would have no problem facing the fifth level wolves. Today's monsters are several times more powerful than yesterday's. However, after adding a defense tower, the defense tower's suppression of monsters is much stronger. After a long time, a few lone wolves rushed here. Kill, Zhang San, Si Tang and others raised their weapons and started to kill the wolves. Unfortunately, there were too few and there were too many, so they were quickly killed. Their strength is too strong and their quality is high enough. Facing these low-level monsters, they are really not enough. Zhou Yan opened Storm Tower and actively released the skill of Storm Tower, Storm Slash. Suddenly, the Storm Tower erupted into a dense wind blade, and the entire sky was filled with wind blade, like a goddess scattering flowers, killing the wolves on a large scale. The entire wolf pack was completely wiped out by this wind blade, and no one survived. Hundreds of treasure chests fell quietly to the ground. All go, it's so fierce. Zhou Yan was shocked. He had no idea that Storm Tower's wind blade would be so terrifying, that hundreds of wolves would be taken away in one wave. The wolves have not completely disappeared. There are still some wolves in the forest that continue to come towards the territory. Judging from the number, there are still quite a few. It's only the third day. I didn't expect there to be so many monsters. The total number of monsters that appeared yesterday was only over a hundred, but today, there were already more than a few hundred. But the monsters keep appearing. Zhou Yan was very happy about this. The more monsters there are, the greater the rewards will be. Anyway, these monsters pose no threat to him. Soon, the number of wolves increased again, but there were not many wolves that could rush to the wall. Even if they rushed close, they would be eliminated as soon as possible. As several elite wolves appeared, it happened to be the half-hour release time of the Fire Tower Sea of Fire skill. A burst of fire fell from the sky, directly wiping out all the monsters in the area. The battle on the third day of the newcomer trial is over. Closing square bracket. Start settling rewards. Closing square bracket. Destroy 150 level 5 black wolves, 150 level 5 white wolves, 150 level 5 gray wolves, 50 level 6 red wolves, and 5 level 6 elite white wolves. Closing square bracket. Battle rating. SSS. Reward. Basic reward is 2000 soul coins, 2000 spirit coins, basic building warehouse. Additional rewards for evaluation. 4000 soul coins, 4000 spirit coins, building artifact refining workshop. 666. Today's battle is even easier than yesterday's. The rewards are even richer. I even obtained 6,000 soul coins in one go. This is undoubtedly a timely help for his territory. Got two buildings again, which is a good thing for him. High evaluation, the harvest is indeed huge. Collect all the treasure boxes outside. Zhou Yan said to everyone. Yes, it's easy to get things done when there are many people, and things get done very quickly. The key is that he finally doesn't need to do these things himself. This is the benefit of being a lord. 
Zhou Yan began to build two newly acquired buildings. Ding. Build warehouse warehouse evolves into treasure room. Ding. Build artifact refining workshop artifact refining workshop evolves into divine weapon workshop. Building. Treasure room. Level. Level 1. Upgrade required. 300 spirit coins. Quality. SSS 0 quarters. Required for upgrade. 4 treasure rooms. Defense. 300 three hundredths. Special attributes. Contains 100 cubic meters of space, which can automatically classify and organize various treasures. Closing square bracket. Introduction. Store various treasures. The more treasures you store, the higher the quality of the treasures, and you will have unexpected gains. Closing square bracket. This treasure room is very interesting, and it actually has hidden properties. From this introduction, you can be sure that this treasure room is definitely not simple, but it requires specific conditions to appear. It is not difficult to see that enough treasures or high-quality treasures need to be put in to trigger it. This can be discussed later. Building. Xinbing Fang. Level. Level 1. Upgrade required. 200 spirit coins. Quality. SS. 0 halves. Required for upgrade. 2 artifact refining workshops. Defense. 200 200. Special attributes. When forging equipment, there is a 1% chance that incidental attributes will appear. Closing square bracket. Introduction. The Divine Weapon Forging Workshop can forge the world's highest divine weapons. Closing square bracket. Territory prompt. Consumption of 300 spirit coins will raise the level of treasure room to level 2. Territory prompt. Consumption of 600 spirit coins will raise the treasure room level to level 3. Territory prompt. Consumption of 900 spirit coins will raise the level of treasure room to level 4. Dot 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 dot. After upgrading both buildings to level 20, the properties of the two buildings have also undergone tremendous changes. Building. Treasure room. Level. Level 20. Required for upgrade. 30,000 spirit coins. 304 star wood, 304 star stone. Quality. SSS, 0 quarters. Required for upgrade. 4 treasure rooms. Defense. 30,000 30 thousandths. Special attribute 1. Contains 10,000 cubic meters of space, which can automatically classify and summarize various treasures. Closing square bracket. Special attribute 2. Broken treasures can be automatically repaired. The higher the quality of the treasure, the longer it will take. Repairing treasures requires spending spiritual coins. Closing square bracket. Introduction. Store various treasures. The more treasures you store, the higher the quality of the treasures, and you will have unexpected gains. Closing square bracket. The treasure room added an attribute, and Zhou Yan was shocked by this attribute. This property is truly incredible. As far as he knew, there were too many broken treasures in the Lord's world. There are countless broken techniques, skills, and equipment. I was very excited when I thought that those treasures could be restored by his treasure room. But his treasure room has such an unparalleled attribute. It has to be said that this treasure room is worthy of being a treasure room. Unfortunately, I don't have high-level treasures now, otherwise I could have looked at the hidden properties of the treasure room. He put all the equipment and other things in the Lord's space into the treasure room, so that he could clearly know how many items he had in his territory. Moreover, he opened the storage authority of the treasure room to everyone in the territory, so that when they collect the treasure box, they can put it directly into the treasure room. Hey, these treasure chests can actually be stacked. Zhou Yan saw that the treasure boxes in the treasure room could be stacked on top of each other. 99 treasure boxes of the same quality could be stacked on top of each other, which was very convenient. I don't know if these treasure chests can be opened directly at once. Zhou Yan said. If you can open 99 of them at once, it will save time in opening treasure chests. He looked at the upgraded properties of another building. Building. Xinbing Fang. Level. Level 20. Required for upgrade. 20,000 spirit coins. 303 star stone, 103 star wood. Quality. SS, 0 halves. Required for upgrade. 2 artifact refining workshops. Defense. 20,000 20 thousandths. Special attribute 1. When forging equipment, there is a 20% probability of incidental attributes appearing. Closing square bracket. Special attribute 2. 
Synthesis, two pieces of equipment of the same quality can be synthesized into a higher level equipment with a success rate of 10%. If it fails, one of the pieces of equipment will be lost. Closing square bracket. Introduction. The Divine Weapon Forging Workshop can forge the world's highest divine weapons. Closing square bracket. Shen Weapon Workshop has an additional synthetic attribute, but the success rate is too low, only 10%. If you want to increase the success rate, you can only upgrade the level, but the level of Shen Weapon Workshop is not so easy to increase. It's a pity that I don't have the blueprints now, otherwise, I would be able to forge the equipment. Every kind of equipment requires blueprints to forge. If you have artifact refining talent, you can also conduct forging research independently, and you may be able to master a new weapon on your own initiative. Putting this aside for the moment, he went directly to the mysterious store to see what good things were refreshed for him today. Inside that mysterious shop. Five items. He looked at it and saw that there were five pieces of equipment, and they were all weapons. They are all bronze quality weapons. Equipment. Demon sword. Quality. Bronze. Durability. 50-50. Attribute 1. Strength plus 5. Sharpness plus 5. Attribute 2. Bloodthirsty slash 0 one hundredths when killing an enemy, the power of blood will be absorbed. When the energy reaches 100, bloodthirsty slash can be released. Closing square bracket. Equipment requirements. Strength 8, Spirit 8. Introduction. A strange demon sword. If the mental power is insufficient, it will fall into a bloodthirsty state. Closing square bracket. Price. 5,000 spirit coins. All five of them were demon swords and I spent 25,000 spiritual coins to buy them all. He felt that this equipment was very suitable for the vine demons and others to use, but the prerequisite was that their level must be upgraded first, otherwise they would not meet the equipment requirements. He used the refresh ability of Mysterious Shop. No luck this time. The first thing is, Butcher Knife. The quality is just average, and it is really a knife that can only be used to kill pigs. The second one is actually very good. Item. Soul Coin Double Card. Quality. B. Introduction. After use, within one hour, you can get additional Soul Coin rewards by killing monsters. The Soul Coin rewards are related to the level and quality of the monster. The stronger the monster, the more rewards. Closing Square Bracket. Price. 1 million spiritual coins. Nice one. Zhou Yan was very happy. The value of this card is very high. It is definitely worth 1 million. If he waits until the newcomer's trial is over and puts it out for auction, someone may offer him more than 10 million spiritual coins to buy it. At this stage, it is a waste for him to use this card because there are no large-scale monsters for him to kill. He also needs to improve his strength and wait until the right time to use this card. Territory Prompt Consume 1 million soul coins to purchase a soul coin double card. The third thing, he was very surprised. Item. Simmons. Quality. E. Attribute. Sleep effect plus 2. Introduction. A very comfortable big bed, you deserve it. Closing square bracket. Price. 500 spirit coins. He could finally replace the stone bed in spirit vein bamboo house which was not comfortable at all. Territory prompt. Consume 500 spirit coins to purchase one Simmons. The fourth and fifth items were both priced at more than 10 million, so he didn't need to consider them at all. Poverty is a disease. Got a cure. After leaving that mysterious shop, Diao Chan and the others also collected all the treasure boxes outside. Zhou Yan began to raise Si Tang's level to level 10. As for Diao Chan and the others, because they are strong enough, they don't need to be promoted at all. Soul COIN 70, Monster Race C Tang, level increased from level 3 to level 4. Closing square bracket. Soul Coin 80, Monster Race C Tang, level increased from level 4 to level 5. Closing square bracket. Soul Coin 90, Monster Race C Tang, level increased from level 5 to level 6. Closing square bracket. Dot 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 dot. Name. C Tang. Gender. Female. Age. 18. Race. Monster Race. Lord. Zhou Yan. Quality. SSS. Loyalty. 100. Level. 10. Upgrade required. 150 soul coins. Charm. 30. Basic 3. Luck. 5. Base 0.5. Strength. 
26 base 0.6. Physique, 26 basic 0.6. Agility, 12 base 0.2. Spirit, 12 base 0.2. Talent, transformation, incarnation of Fujiki's true form. Skill 1, vine whipping, change vines to whip the enemy. Skill 2, thorns, thorns grow from the ground to attack the enemy. Introduction. Evolved by mysterious energy, basic attributes increase tenfold. It was originally a vine seed that was transformed by chance. Closing square bracket. Zhou Yan then handed the demon sword to Si Tang and a few others. Immediately afterwards, Zhou Yan said to them, let's all set out to explore the fog in the south. Yes, including himself, the entire territory now has 12 people. The future is infinitely good, but comrades need to work hard. They swept through the fog in the south. With more people, the scope and speed of exploration also accelerated a lot. The mobs on the periphery were no longer a threat to them. After killing them, they were thrown directly into the treasure room of the territory's warehouse. Kill the level 1 black scaled snake and receive an additional reward of 2 soul coins. Closing square bracket. Kill the level 3 purple rabbit and get an additional 2 soul coins as a reward. Closing square bracket. Kill level 5 elite fox hunter, and receive an additional 10 soul coins. Closing square bracket. Kill the level 8 blue wave frog and receive an additional 4 spirit coins. Closing square bracket. Dot dot dot, dot dot dot, Zhou Yan, Diao Chan, and Gen Mi did not take action against the monsters they encountered along the way. In fact, these monsters were killed by Si Tang and the others before they could take action. Not long after, they encountered a very special monster again. Monster. Piranha. Quality. Elite. Level. Level 10. Special. Poison powder. Introduction. Be careful with the poisonous powder they spray, otherwise you will be poisoned. Closing square bracket. This was a group of 10th level elite monsters, and the rewards were twice as much as those of the mobs. However, Zhou Yan was a little hesitant after seeing that they would spray poisonous powder. Lord. Let me deal with these monsters. Gen Mi seemed to see Zhou Yan's difficulties and took the initiative to ask Ying. Yes, Gen Mi is the only one among us who has long-range attacks. He just remembered, but he still asked. These piranha flowers can spray poisonous powder, is there no problem? Don't worry, there will be no problem. I will put these piranha flowers into a deep sleep, and then others will attack directly. Gen Mi answered very confidently. Great. Zhou Yan had never seen Gen Mi take action, so he didn't know how strong her specific abilities were. Lord, our siblings are also very resistant to the poison of Piranha. You don't have to worry. Si Tang stepped forward and said. They are vine monsters, and they are plant-based monsters. They are naturally very resistant to the poisonous powder of Piranha. Then everyone follow the command. After Gen Mi's spell is activated, everyone will focus on attacking these Piranha flowers. Zhou Yan ordered, yes, Gen Mi stood in front, holding the Holy Spirit staff, and sent out a burst of powerful spiritual power, covering the piranha. The piranha that was about to move suddenly became quiet, as if it was asleep. Now, come on, Zhou Yan said, yes, Zhang San raised his spear and moved forward bravely. Sisters and brothers, follow me and kill. Si Tang also picked up the demon knife and rushed towards the piranha. But Diao Chan was faster, and saw lotus-like phantoms appearing one after another. Diao Chan was already holding a sword, and with one strike of the sword, a piranha was cut in half by Diao Chan. Kill the level 10 elite piranha and receive an additional 30 soul coins. Closing square bracket. Diao Chan was like a female killer among the dense monsters. She killed all these piranha flowers with one sword and one sword. She was very fast in terms of attack power and speed. Before long, there were already people on the ground. Piranha flowers and treasure chests were piled all over the ground. Gen Mi also started to move forward, launching a spiritual attack on the piranha behind. This sleeping spell is too powerful, and it does damage over a wide area. It's like making the enemy stick out their necks and let them chop. Zhou Yan could not imagine the consequences if Gen Mi was an enemy. After Si Tang and others joined in, the speed of clearing monsters was greatly increased. One piranha flower could bring him dozens of soul coins, which made Zhou Yan very happy. What's this? 
Zhou Yan picked up the things exploded by the piranha. In addition to a treasure box, there was another thing. Item. Piranha Poison Powder. Quality. E. Introduction. The poisonous powder of piranha has unlimited effects. Closing square bracket. Thinking of this poisonous powder, several ways of using it appeared in Zhou Yan's mind. Poison powder can be smeared on the weapon to increase the poison attack. It can also be used on powerful monsters to poison them. You can also refine elixirs to make poison elixirs. Zhou Yan put it away. This area is full of these piranha flowers. Without Zhen Mi's magic, it might not be so easy for them to eliminate these piranha flowers. Lord, there's a big guy over there. Zhen Mi looked in one direction. Let me see. Zhou Yan also looked in the direction Zhen Mi pointed, and sure enough there was a big guy. Monster. Piranha. Quality. Leader. Level. Level 11. Special. Poison powder. Poison sting. Poison ivy. Introduction. It is covered in thorns and full of poison. Be careful not to be eaten by it. Closing square bracket. Level 11 monster. This was probably the first monster they had encountered that was beyond level 10. It didn't look easy to deal with. Gen MI, I'm going to raise your level, are you sure you can let it fall asleep? Zhou Yan asked. Gen Mi's sleeping spell is indeed very powerful, it is simply a killer weapon. If the leader can also fall into sleep, it will be twice the result with half the effort. My mental confusion should have an effect on it, but there is no guarantee that it will not wake up from its slumber. The best thing is to achieve a sure kill blow. Gen MI suggested. This is simple. I will also upgrade Chenur. If you two join forces, there will be no problem in dealing with this leader. Zhou Yan had a plan. Soul Coin 700, Hero Diao Chan, level increased from level 6 to level 7. Closing square bracket. Soul Coin 800, Hero Diao Chan, level increased from level 7 to level 8. Closing square bracket. Soul Coin 900, Hero Diao Chan, level increased from level 8 to level 9. Closing square bracket. Soul Coin 700, Hero Gen MI, level increased from level 6 to level 7. Closing square bracket. Soul Coin 800, Hero Gen MI, level increased from level 7 to level 8. Closing square bracket. Soul Coin 900, Hero Gen MI, level increased from level 8 to level 9. Closing square bracket. The levels of Diao Chan and Gen MI have both been upgraded to level 9. His soul coins are not enough for them to continue upgrading, but with their attributes, this level is completely enough to kill the piranha leader. Chenur, wait and cooperate with Gen MI to kill the leader. Others, be careful of the piranhas around the leader. Zhou Yan commanded. Yes, everyone rushed towards the leader and wiped out all the piranha flowers around the leader. The leader wanted to take action, but no one came close. It did not take action and was still waiting for an opportunity. Then, a powerful spiritual spell covered the leader, causing the leader to fall into an illusion. All the vines softened and fell into a deep sleep. It's now, Zhou Yan said. Aha, Diao Chan turned into a strong wind, and lotus-like phantoms appeared at his feet. He raised his sword and raised a brilliant lotus light, slashing towards the piranha's weak point. Crack, the sharp sword light cut the piranha in half without any obstruction, and successfully killed the leader of the piranha. Kill the level 11 boss, Piranha, and receive an additional reward of 440 soul coins, 440 spirit coins, and a basic building treasure chest. Closing square bracket. Well done. With the cooperation of two high-quality heroes, a boss was instantly killed. Zhou Yan was too careful. Diao Chan and Gen Mi were both heroes of the highest quality. Even Diao Chan alone could kill this Piranha. Boss level monsters can be rewarded with an additional building treasure chest. It would be great if you encounter more bosses. Zhou Yan thought very happily. That's all he dared to think about. The other lords, let alone the leader, did not even dare to step out of the mist. It was also his good luck that the monsters outside were all monsters. Some people were extremely unlucky. The monsters outside the fog were all level 50 monsters, which made him tremble with fear. There is also a mountain cliff outside the Lord's Mist, and those who attack the territory are a group of flying monsters. Some people's territory fell directly on the sea, and they encountered a group of sea monsters. 
Fortunately, in these newcomer trials, except for monsters that will actively attack the territory during the trial, other monsters will not attack. Zhou Yan stepped forward to pick up the items exploded by the piranha leader. In addition to the treasure chest, there were other items. Pick up a Starwood Crystal Core X1. Closing square bracket. Pick up the bronze treasure chest X2. Closing square bracket. Pick up piranha seeds X5. Closing square bracket. Pick up piranha poison powder X1. Closing square bracket. There are seeds again. Zhou Yan was very surprised. The previous Vinewood Demon seeds gave him eight powerful subordinates. Now, he has obtained five more seeds. This is like picking up five subordinates in vain. How many soul coins can be saved? Item. Piranha Seeds. Quality. D. Introduction. After the death of the Piranha Leader, there is a very small chance that it will turn into seeds, which can be planted in the territory to protect it. It can grow up to level 20. Closing square bracket. He doesn't care about the quality of the piranha at all. Even the lowest seed can become a high-quality monster race in his hands. It seems that I can collect more seeds like this in the future. This is equivalent to summoning soldiers for free, which is a great deal. Zhou Yan thought beautifully. After cleaning up the piranha flowers around him, he had a lot more soul coins. This harvest was very good, with 105 wooden treasure chests, 275 black iron treasure chests, 2 bronze treasure chests, and 380 piranha poison powder. There are almost 10,000 soul coins. After deducting what was consumed before, there are still about 6,000 soul coins left. If they had reached this location two days ago, they would have almost gone back. But they are now powerful. When they arrived here, it was still early, and it wasn't even noon yet. But Zhou Yan still took out a variety of food, and then said, Everyone, take a rest, eat something to replenish your strength, and continue moving forward later. Yes, several vine demons took the initiative to act as guards to prevent sneak attacks by monsters, while the others found a place to eat. Chenur's cooking is getting better and better. Zhou Yan took a bite of the barbecue. It was made in the morning. Although it was a bit cold, it was still delicious. Especially with the addition of cumin, chili pepper and other condiments, the taste is even better. Sister Diao Chan is really good at cooking, but I don't know how to cook. Jen M. I replied. If you want to learn, I can teach you. Diao Chan replied. The food and spirit field should be ready by the time we go back. It's a pity that I didn't bring rice seeds with me this time, otherwise I could have tasted fresh rice. Territory like rice, after planting. When it's harvest time, you don't need to dry it, you just need to collect it, and it will be automatically divided into rice and straw. Rice straw can also be used as a resource. It can not only be used for breeding and feeding various livestock, but can also be used as fertilizer to increase the fertility of farmland. But his spirit field does not need to be so troublesome. As long as there is sufficient spiritual energy, higher level crops can be grown. This is the benefit of high level spirit field. From the area beyond this area, the concentration of fog is greater, as if it is a dividing line, indicating that there is greater danger behind it. Everyone, be careful, we are very likely to encounter monsters above level 10. Zhou Yan reminded. Zhou Yan felt that the danger behind this would be much greater, so he planned to raise the levels of Diao Chan and Gen Mi to level 10. Soul Coin 1000, Hero Diao Chan, level increased from level 9 to level 10. Closing Square Bracket. Soul Coin 1000, Hero Gen Mi, level increased from level 9 to level 10. Closing Square Bracket. Gen Mi has the highest mental power. After leveling up, the mental power attribute has reached a terrifying 80 points. This still does not include the attributes of equipment bonus. Her spiritual growth is terrifying, but it is a pity that Zhou Yan does not have the skills suitable for her, otherwise Gen Mi will be a humanoid defense tower. With 4,000 soul coins left, Zhou Yan also felt the need to raise his level. Soul Coin 600, Lord Zhou Yan, level increased from level 5 to level 6. Closing Square Bracket Soul Coin 700, Lord Zhou Yan, level increased from level 6 to level 7. Closing Square Bracket Dot 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 Name Zhou Yan Gender Male Age 18 Race Human Race Nationality Shenlong Kingdom Level 10 Upgrade Required 
600 soul coins. Charm, 11. Lucky, 11. Strength, 21.7. Physique, 9.7. Agility, 11.2. Spirit, 14.2. Free attribute points, 50. Talent, not enabled. Skill, S7 star sword technique. Qualification, not open. Function, not enabled. Realm, not opened. Equipment, detailed list. After upgrading the level to level 10, it consumes exactly 4,000 soul coins. His soul coins are gone again. Territory prompt. You are the first lord to raise the level to level 10 in this newcomer trial. The newcomer trial level ranking list has been opened, and 100 reputation points will be awarded. An announcement of the newcomer trial will be made. Will the territory be announced? Name and real name and nationality. Territory tip. Upgrade your level to level 10 and you can build new buildings. Territory prompt. Upgrade the level to level 10, start the talent test, and start the qualification test. Territory prompt. The level has reached the job transfer requirements and you can change jobs. Please go to the job transfer statue to change jobs. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Zhou Yan himself was shocked. He didn't expect that after upgrading the level to level 10, there would be so many more functions. In the school, these descriptions are not clear, but they roughly say that after newcomers reach level 10, there will be a big change. As for how big the change is, they still need to experience it themselves. Hi, newcomer trial announcement. Territory XXX belongs to Lord XXX and nationality XXX. The first one to upgrade the level to level 10 will be rewarded with 100 reputation points. Closing square bracket. Newcomer trial announcement. Territory XXX belongs to Lord XXX and nationality XXX. The first one to upgrade the level to level 10 will be rewarded with 100 reputation points. Closing square bracket. Newcomer trial announcement. Territory XXX belongs to Lord XXX and nationality XXX. The first one to upgrade the level to level 10 will be rewarded with 100 reputation points. Closing square bracket. This is the announcement of the entire newcomer trial. When this announcement appeared, the entire newcomer trial became excited. The chat room is full of all kinds of information. Let me go, it's only the third day of the newbie trial, and there's an awesome person who has raised his level to level 10. Can this guy fly? I seriously doubt that this person spent all his soul coins on improving his level, but how did he kill the monsters attacking the territory? Could it be that he relied on himself? Who is this person? If it were me, I would like the whole world to know my name. This person has been hiding too deeply. He has not even disclosed his nationality. Could this be some dark horse? If he is a powerful person, he will not hide it. No need to guess, that person is me. The guy upstairs is so shameless. It's obviously me. Lord World is definitely the most comprehensive regarding personal privacy and security. All information is hidden, and you don't even know which country he is from. Because of this, the newcomer lords all over the world are confused. If this person belongs to a certain force, then he will never hide his identity information. This is equivalent to advertising to new lords all over the world, and it is also very profound. But the other party chose to conceal it, which made them inevitably guess the identity of this person. Unfortunately, no one knew which country this person was from, which made it impossible for them to guess. In the international chat room, messages about wanting to make friends with this person appeared. At first glance, this person seems to have a lot of money. Every message sent here costs a small amount of money. The key point is that there are quite a few rich people. Hundreds of messages appeared continuously on the international channel, with people from every country, all seeming to show off that they are rich. Zhou Yan didn't even open the chat room, so he didn't know that everyone was talking about him. For him, peace of mind is the way to go. His personal attributes panel has also completely changed. He now has 50 free attribute points and starts to distribute them. He still focuses on increasing strength. The strongest attack is the best defense. Strength plus 20 points, others 10 points each. The properties change to Name, Zhou Yan, Gender, Male, Age, 18, Race, Human Race, Nationality, Shenlong Kingdom, Level, 10, Upgrade Required, 1500 Soul Coins.
Charm, 11. Lucky, 11. Strength, 41.8. Physique, 19.8. Agility, 21.3. Spirit, 24.2. Free attribute points, 0. Reputation, 100. Occupation, not change. Talent, unawakened. Skill, S7 star sword technique. Qualification, not awakened. Exercise, not learned yet. Stage, uncultivated. Equipment, detailed list. Total equipment attribute bonus. Strength plus 17, agility plus 15, physique plus 10, spirit plus 0, defense plus 15. The powerful feeling coming from his body made Zhou Yan very satisfied. After adding the attribute bonus of the equipment, his strength is very close to 60 points. He believes that he can tear the Japanese with his hands. After improving his strength, Zhou Yan was full of confidence and began to open up this new area. The monster has appeared. Zhen Mi's powerful mental power sensed the fleeting black shadow in the fog. Not long after, a group of red-eyed monsters appeared in front of them. Monster. Mantis Warrior. Quality. Enhanced Elite. Level. Level 15. Special. Agility Strengthening. Introduction. This is a group of powerful and extremely fast mantis warriors. Their sharp double blades can easily cut through stones. It is best to stay away from them when encountering them. Closing square bracket. It's a level 15 enhanced elite. Zhou Yan was very surprised. This is a group of humanoid monsters with a level as high as level 15. The key is that there are quite a few of them, at least dozens of them. He didn't expect that he would encounter such a group of powerful monsters when he first arrived in this area. Protect the Lord. A group of people surrounded Zhou Yan and completely protected him. What? There's more behind. Zhou Yan looked back and found that they were surrounded. What a smart monster, they actually know how to surround them. It seems that they already have good intelligence. Zhou Yan said. Don't worry, Lord. With our strength, it won't be that difficult to deal with these monsters. Gen Mi is very confident, and she is also a protected member, because she is a long-range profession and has relatively weak melee capabilities. Lord, don't worry, as long as I'm here, no one will hurt you. Diao Chan rarely blushed and said to Zhou Yan very confidently. Of course Zhou Yan is not worried about their strength. With his current attributes, he can definitely crush these monsters. However, his combat experience is still very weak and he cannot face too many monsters. The Mantis warriors made a series of strange sounds, and then these monsters took the initiative to attack Zhou Yan and the others. Their arms are like two sharp swords, shining brightly, and they are very extraordinary at first sight. The speed is pretty good. Zhou Yan commented. He also grasped the weapon and prepared to take action. After these Mantis warriors approached, Gen Mi finally unleashed her magic. She was extremely holy, and a stream of spiritual magic was released towards the surroundings along with the staff. Within 20 meters, the mantis warriors shrouded in spiritual magic fell into some strange illusion for a moment. Then, they saw many enemies around them, so they raised their sickles and attacked the enemies around them. But in the eyes of Zhou Yan and others, they saw an incredible scene. These mantis warriors, like crazy, stopped and then attacked their companions. This is. Zhen Mi's Luo Shen Fu spell. Zhou Yan immediately thought of the problem. When dealing with the piranha before, because the piranha grew on the ground and was immobile, Zhen Mi did not expend too much mental energy. She just made the piranha fall into a certain state of sleep. Now, I finally see Zhen Mi unleashing the Luo Shen Fu skill at full strength. Seeing the scene of these mantis warriors massacre, what a terrifying skill this is. Within a range of 20 meters, no one among the mantises caught in the battle could escape. Good opportunity, kill quickly. Zhou Yan knew that Gen Mi, who used this skill with all his strength, would consume a lot of money, and they had to deal with these monsters as soon as possible. Kill, Diao Chan's body shape is like the wind, as fast as lightning, and she shuttles around the warriors at lightning speed. Every time he appears, the long sword in his hand will definitely cut off the head of a mantis warrior. Kill the level 15 enhanced elite mantis warrior and receive an additional 50 soul coins. Closing square bracket. Kill the level 15 enhanced elite mantis warrior and receive an additional 50 soul coins. Closing square bracket. 
kill the level 15 enhanced elite mantis warrior and receive an additional 50 soul coins. Closing square bracket. Dot dot dot. She jumped up, five meters above the ground, a ray of light burst out from her body, a holy lotus bloomed, and the glow was endless. The next second, the holy lotus landed on the ground, and a terrifying energy burst out, killing all the mantis warriors within a few dozen meters. Diao Chan also has her own talent skills. She and Jen M.I. are both heroes of RRR quality, each with their own terrifying strength. Although the other warriors are not as terrifying as Diao Chan and Jen M.I., they are also strong men with S quality or above. With various equipment blessings, their strength can completely crush these mantis warriors. Pieces of mantis warriors fell to the ground, and within a few minutes, all these mantis warriors were wiped out by them. More than a hundred mantis warriors brought Zhou Yan very generous rewards. The soul coins alone increased to 5,123 points again. Moreover, the treasure chests exploded by these mantis warriors are almost all black iron or above, and there are even dozens of treasure chests that are bronze treasure chests. Wooden treasure chests occupy only a small part. Mantis warriors are humanoid monsters and, generally speaking, are not of much value. However, their arms are an excellent material. Cut off the arms of these mantis warriors. Zhou Yan said. The sharp arms of the mantis warrior are still very good weapons even if they are not forged. Zhou Yan checked the attributes. Item. Mantis blade. Quality. C. Attribute. Sharpness plus 8. Introduction. The arm of the mantis warrior is made of excellent weapon materials. With a little forging, it can become a sophisticated weapon. Closing square bracket. This is definitely a good material for artifact refining. Even if it is sold, it will definitely be a very popular item. Hundreds of mantis blades are hundreds of powerful weapons. A weapon like this that has already been formed can be refined into a weapon by just adding other ores and making it a little bit. First, he must first learn the artifact refining ability. They continued to explore the mist and found several more lone mantis warriors. They were very pitifully beaten by the group. There were no monsters in the area after that, and it wasn't until a few hundred meters away that they discovered another monster. This is a monster that is at least three meters tall. Monster. Earth Dire Bear. Quality. Enhanced Elite. Level. Level 18. Special. Fury. Power Enhancement. Introduction. With a violent personality and powerful strength, he likes to smash the enemy's heads into pieces. Closing Square Bracket. They are level 18 enhanced elites. Zhou Yan said. He was very curious, could this entire area be an area for a group of enhanced elite monsters? To others, this might be a dangerous place. But for Zhou Yan, it was an excellent place to open up wasteland and get rewards. The stronger the quality of the monster, the more attribute points you get at each level, just like heroes. The real combat power of an 18th level enhanced elite is no weaker than that of a 20-something monster. With the talent feature, it is even equivalent to the attributes of a 25-level ordinary monster. Even so, Zhou Yan is not worried at all. The lowest quality of his soldiers is S quality, and the attribute points added at each level will only be more than that of this elite. This is not to mention the highest quality RRR heroes like Diao Chan and Gen Mi. Coupled with their numerical advantage, this is simply a battle without any suspense. As soon as the battle began, Gen Mi burst out with terrifying mental power and controlled the Earth Fury Bear, causing it to stop where it was and fall asleep. Immediately afterwards, the Sea Tang siblings used Tang Thorns to attack the Earth Violent Bear. They were Vine Demons. The Tang Thorns erupted by eight people had enveloped the area within 10 meters of the Earth Violent Bear. Then, like a fairy, Diao Chan moved the flying fairy from the sky, and the light and shadow like lotus flowers changed in the sky. She hit the weak point of the Earth Violent Bear's neck with a sword. The Earth Violent Bear had not even woken up from the illusion. I just received the lunchbox directly. Kill the level 18 enhanced elite Earth Dire Bear and receive an additional reward of 56 soul coins. Closing square bracket. In addition to the soul coins, Chin Chuan also received a bronze treasure box. The probability of the enhanced elite exploding the bronze treasure chest is quite high, and he has obtained quite a few of them now. Keep going. No one knows how big the foggy area of the newcomer's territory is, and there is no information to check. After all, 
99.99% of newcomers will not explore the foggy area during the newcomer trial. In addition, the newbie trial comes randomly, even if there is a group of monsters beyond level 90 outside the fog, it is not impossible. If he hadn't been lucky and there happened to be a group of mobs outside, he wouldn't have been able to get so many rewards. The carcass of a giant earth bear can definitely be sold for a very high price. This is a high-level product, and at this stage, it is definitely worth a lot of money. He hasn't eaten bear paws yet. This is authentic bear paw, so you must try it. No matter where you are, be careful. Zhou Yan is a very careful person. He asks everyone to always pay attention to the surroundings. After all, this is already a high-level monster area. If you are not careful, you will be finished. Lord, there is a trap ahead. Si Tang suddenly said to Zhou Yan. Trap, Zhou Yan looked forward, and it didn't look much different from his surroundings. It's just that the ground there is densely covered with fallen leaves, and it doesn't look much different from the surroundings. If you don't look carefully, no one will notice it at all. Si Tang is a wood demon with a particularly keen sense of the forest. They can drill vines into the earth, so Si Tang discovered the anomaly there. Sisters Si Ying, Si Hong, and Si Si stepped forward and opened up the fallen leaves and saw a bottomless pit. Let's go around. With Si Tang and the others here, the safety in the forest is better guaranteed. They later encountered several enhanced elites. Although these monsters were not densely packed, just as he thought, the monsters here were really a group of enhanced monsters. The monsters in this area are all probably within level 20. With their current strength, they are very easy to deal with. But the environment here is still very complicated. Si Tang and the others can often find various traps. If they hadn't been there, Zhou Yan would have suffered a big loss. After a long time, they saw a mountain range and vaguely felt something moving there. Out of curiosity, they headed there to see if they could gain anything else. It seems like a group of monsters. Because of the fog, I couldn't see very clearly, but there were indeed monsters moving. It seemed that there were still a lot of them, so they chose to hide them first to see the number of monsters clearly. After getting closer, Zhou Yan unexpectedly said, they are a group of enhanced goblins, and there are quite a few of them. The levels of these goblins are all around level 15. If you look closely, you will find that this mountain range seems to be used as a nest by these goblins, with simple protective buildings built there. Different from monsters, these goblins have good intelligence. They can use weapons and make various daily utensils. They are a race. Just like the cavemen in ancient times. Lord, what are those goblins doing? Gen M.I. pointed at a group of goblins pulling carts in the distance, heading up the mountain from the foot of the mountain. That's, or, Zhou Yan was very surprised. Because the distance was too far, he only knew that it was or, and he would have to get closer to find out what kind it was. Zhou Yan and the others carefully observed these goblins. There were already dozens of goblins in the periphery alone. This is just the goblin they can see in front of them. They still don't know how many goblins are hidden in the cave. These goblins are not those monsters. They not only have good weapons, but also master the ability of artifact refining. It can be seen from the weapons in their hands that these goblins are not simple. It's just that Zhou Yan is very strange. According to his knowledge, goblins do not have the ability to master artifact refining. Because there are still many goblins with bows and arrows, Zhou Yan does not intend to attack by force. Attacking from behind is the way to go. We will attack from the minds of the goblins. Zhou Yan carefully observed the terrain and came up with a good strategy. Let's sneak over and don't let those goblins discover us. They cautiously moved toward the foot of the mountain where the goblins were. The goblins did not notice them, and they successfully reached the foot of the mountain. Clean up quickly when you enter. Don't let a goblin escape. See who and see long, you too, guard the door. Is there any problem? Zhou Yan began to give instructions. No problem. They all understood what they were going to do next, and Zhou Yan nodded and asked everyone to copy the guy. Diao Chan was still as fast as lightning, shaped like a fairy, leaving behind a beautiful figure as she rushed towards the goblin. There were bursts of screams. Each of his soldiers has powerful attributes and talents. These goblins are far from their opponents. They will soon be killed leaving behind their armor and screaming in agony. In addition, they attacked suddenly, and no one expected that enemies would attack them. 
This is an empty stone cave, surrounded by caves, and torches are lit in many places, so it is not dark inside. Zhou Yan was hiding outside a mine. After hearing the sound, several goblins popped up and were chopped down by him with his sword. Before the goblin behind him could react, he was tripped over by the corpse of his companion. Immediately afterwards, it was also killed by Zhou Yan. He waited for these goblins-like gophers to emerge from several caves nearby, and he killed them all one by one. The Territorial Version of Wack A Mole Seeing a flood of information flooding the screen, I earned a lot of soul coins this time. Half an hour later, they carefully inspected every mine and made sure that all the goblins had been eliminated. Lord, the goblin who left earlier is pushing the cart here. Si Hu said quickly to Zhou Yan. Throw the goblins outside aside, let's catch the goblins in a jar. The people around quickly ordered. They were strong and quickly moved all the goblins on the ground. This is a mine, and the most indispensable thing is stone. They hid behind the rocks. Soon, a group of goblins leisurely pushed simple wheelbarrows into the mine. Squeak squeak. Translation. Brothers, come out to move the ore. A group of goblins. Before they could think about it, Zhou Yan, who was hiding behind the stone, raised his weapon and brutally tortured them to death. Keep one and let it leave. Zhou Yan said. Although most of them were puzzled, they let one of the goblins leave the cave. The goblin came outside the cave with serious injuries and shouted. Squeak squeak. Translation. Help. Puff. Before it could run too far, Zhou Yan threw out a short spear and stabbed the goblin to death. Everyone, didn't you let it go? Why did you kill it again? Drag the goblin back, throw the surrounding goblin corpses aside, and wait for the goblin to attack. Zhou Yan ordered again. Diao Chan and Zhen Mi already understood Zhou Yan's plan, which was completely a trick to lure troops. Sure enough, the goblin warriors who were training on the mountain were confused when they heard their companions calling for help from the foot of the mountain. They looked at the foot of the mountain, but saw nothing. What happened? I thought I heard something. What kind of sound is it? Is it the sound of Kwewa panting? Go aside, I'll go take a look. I'll go take a look too. A dozen goblin warriors thought they were monsters at first, but they didn't see any monsters, so they walked directly into the mine. Just as they were about to shout, they felt something was wrong. They smelled a strong smell of blood. Before they could speak, Zhou Yan and the others appeared again and started another group killing battle against them. Let one go. Now, everyone understood Zhou Yan's plan. Let go of a seriously injured person again. Like the previous goblin, this goblin shouted as soon as it walked out of the cave. Squeak, squeak. Translation. Yama butterfly. Puff. The goblin stared dead. Its body disappeared outside again, but this time the movement was a bit louder, and the remaining goblins had all gathered and headed towards the mine. We need to be fast this time. After the destruction, we should leave the mine as soon as possible. Zhou Yan ordered. They were puzzled as to why Zhou Yan was doing this. Just like before, wouldn't it be nice to lure enemies in waves to die? But they still obeyed the order. This time they did not throw the goblins on the ground aside, just let them lie on the ground, waiting for the goblins outside to come in. After the goblins outside saw the fallen goblins inside, they reflexively walked towards the bodies of their companions, not paying attention to Zhou Yan who was hiding on both sides. The guy who copied it, behead him. Under Zhou Yan's wise command, they completed annihilation battles again and again. The key is that he got a lot of bows and arrows. Let me go, where did these goblins get their bows and arrows? They are all black iron equipment. Zhou Yan was very surprised and wanted to know what was hidden on the mountain. This time, dozens of goblins were killed, and none of the goblins patrolling the mountain disappeared. Afterwards, he led his men to evacuate the mine as soon as possible, and then went into the mountain. He asked everyone to block the entrance of the cave, and not long after, a few goblins came out, were knocked unconscious, dragged to the edge of the cliff, clicked, and thrown down the mountain. A lawnmower event begins. The goblins didn't even know that everyone outside was occupied. Those goblins didn't seem to report the situation outside to their leader before, which made Zhou Yanggao look at them. It's right to think about it, these goblins are just goblins, and their brains are no match for humans. The corpses of goblins piled up like a mountain at the foot of the mountain, at least hundreds of them. This is simply an action of waiting for the goblins. 
The good luck certainly didn't last. Not long after, a group of goblins emerged from the same cave and a fight broke out. After more than 10 seconds, the battle ended. However, the sound of fighting still alarmed many goblins inside. Come in with me and kill. Zhou Yan originally wanted to use some tactics, such as fire attacks. But he felt that it was really unnecessary to use his wisdom to deal with these goblins. Mainly, he was worried that there were other treasures inside, and if they burned out, the gain would outweigh the loss. He is a good citizen, and committing arson and murder is not a good idea. Men should fight with real swords and guns. Diao Chan opened the way at the front, with terrifying lethality, just like the goddess of war. She strikes like a gust of wind, and the monsters are often killed by Diao Chan preemptively before they even attack. Her talent is so powerful that it cannot be resisted by ordinary monsters. With Diao Chan opening the way in front of them, Zhou Yan and the others entered smoothly as if they were in an uninhabited area. This is a huge cave that extends in all directions and can lead to many places, like a maze. Don't scatter. There are only a small number of them, so it is safest to gather together. No one knows if there are any stronger monsters among this group of goblins. The goblins in this cave were quickly wiped out by them. There was a huge cave at the bottom. This should be the place where some goblins lived, and there were many daily necessities. Things like animal skins, weapons, cotton cloth, linen clothes, etc., these things are not very good. What he wants is the iron ore that was transported back in the place where they forged the weapons. But he still collected all the things. Although he didn't need them, at this stage, there were many lords who needed these things. No matter how small a mosquito is, it is still meat, so no resources can be wasted. Let's look elsewhere. The caves here extend in all directions, like a maze, very complicated, and they can only walk one by one. Jen Mi's mental strength is very high. As long as she walks once, Jen Mi can remember it, so she doesn't need to worry about getting lost. Therefore Zhou Yan also praised her. Because he himself does not have such a good memory. The goblins had begun to search for their whereabouts. Diao Chan at the front started fighting with the goblins again. Unfortunately, these goblins were too weak and were killed soon. They walked through several caves in a row without much gain. However, they killed a lot of goblins and received a lot of soul coins as rewards. This passage seems different. Zhou Yan discovered a relatively large passage. If he paid careful attention, he could find that there were traces of the single wheel on the ground. Everyone, go this way. This place should be where the goblins forged weapons, and they rushed forward. I met many goblin guards on the road. They were relatively strong and had better weapon attributes than ordinary goblins. Whoosh! A cold arrow shot towards Zhou Yan, heading straight for his head. Lord, be careful! Si Tang pulled out the vine and knocked it away with a snap. Even without Si Tang, Zhou Yan would be fine. He always paid attention to his surroundings and did not relax his vigilance. They looked at several goblin archers hiding behind the boulders, and they were attacking Zhou Yan and others. Go ahead, kill them. Zhou Yan ordered. Jen Mi quickly activated her mental power to make them lose consciousness, and then Si Wu and Si Hu stepped forward to kill them. Collect a few bows and arrows but they all preferred to fight with cold weapons, so he put this thing away. There are quite a lot of goblins here, and you can meet many goblins with a strength level around level 16 along the way. However, their strength is far from Diao Chan and others, and they were knocked down in one encounter. Soon after, they finally felt that the temperature of the cave began to rise, and then heard some tinkling sounds of iron. It is indeed the forging room. Zhou Yan was very happy. Finally we arrived at the place where goblins forged weapons. As soon as they walked into the forge, they saw a group of goblins holding whips and looking around at a group of dwarves wearing chains. The surrounding area is filled with various oars and crafted weapons and equipment. There are actually dwarves. Zhou Yan was very surprised. He immediately knew what was going on. It turns out that these goblins themselves don't know how to forge weapons, they just captured the dwarves as slaves, handcuff them, and force the dwarves to make weapons and equipment for the goblins. Kill those goblins, Zhou Yan ordered. Yes. These goblins were no match for Diao Chan and the others. They were killed and fled in a short time. The dwarves also began to help Diao Chan and the others create obstacles for the escaped goblins because they had been abused by the goblins for a long time. The goblins were quickly wiped out, 
but these dwarves were still afraid of Zhou Yan and the others, and they didn't know how Zhou Yan would deal with them. Zhou Yan stepped forward and asked, which of you is the leader? I have something to tell you. Dear humans, I am the leader of the dwarf clan. Thank you very much for killing these greedy and cruel goblins. A bearded goblin came to Zhou Yan dragging a bunch of chains and spoke respectfully. Zhou Yan quickly checked the dwarf's information. Name, Jerry. Gender, male. Age, 42. Race, dwarf. Quality, A. Level, 18. Charm, closing square bracket. Lucky, closing square bracket. Strength, closing square bracket. Constitution, closing square bracket. Agile, closing square bracket. Spirit, closing square bracket. Talent, forging. Skill 1, closing square bracket. Skill 2, closing square bracket. Still an A quality dwarf. His subordinates are all a group of S quality people, mainly because of the Color Lord's evolutionary ability. It is not easy to encounter high quality races outside. It is very rare for this dwarf to reach A in quality. Except for the forging talent, which is common to the dwarves, nothing else can be seen. But the fact that the dwarf leader can possess two skills has proven that he is very capable. These dwarves had more or less wounds on their bodies, and it looked like they had been whipped by the goblins. Zhou Yan quickly said, Why were you arrested by these goblins? The dwarf leader sighed and said, These goblins attacked our village at night. They not only destroyed our village, but also killed many of our tribesmen. We were all captured by the goblins. They valued our forging ability. They didn't kill us, they were very cruel and greedy. Zhou Yan nodded, expressed his understanding, and said directly, Since you are homeless, you are willing to be loyal to me. I am a lord, and you must have seen the strength of these men. As long as you are loyal to me, I will not only give you a safe home in the future, but also let you live a life ten times better than before. He can directly recruit a race like this. However, the loyalty of newly recruited people will not be too high, so the lords need to find ways to increase their loyalty. The talents used by the dwarves to forge equipment are very powerful, and every dwarf here is a valuable asset. As long as you can destroy these goblins and help us avenge our people, we are willing to be loyal to you. Jerry was in a great mood and with great expectations. They wanted revenge so much that they wanted to kill those greedy goblins with their own hands. Of course, no problem. We had no intention of letting these greedy goblins go. Zhou Yan said, Lord, there is a large wave of goblins rushing towards here. Jen Mi said quickly. Let me deal with them. Diao Chan asked. Let's go together and eliminate these goblins. Zhou Yan said. He first asked everyone to split the dwarves' bracelets and anklets, and then they volunteered to participate in the battle. Although Zhou Yan didn't want them to be harmed, if one of them died, he would lose a blacksmith. But the torture they suffered was too great, so they agreed. However, he did not let these dwarves take the lead. He arranged the dwarves at the back to let them see the strength of their territory, which could increase their loyalty. Chapter 41 Diao Chan, Si Tang, and Zhang San stood at the front, followed by the group of dwarves, and at the back were Zhou Yan and Zhen Mi. Zhen Mi has powerful spiritual magic, and he has no worries about anyone being in danger. Try the power of this bow and arrow. Zhou Yan took out a bow and arrow, bent the bow and knocked an arrow, and pointed it in front. His strength attribute is already very strong, and it is not easy to draw a full bow. But this scene made the dwarf patriarch admire him. Not everyone can do this. A group of goblins came toward them in a mighty manner, and Zhou Yan let go of Gong Zan. Call out, the arrow breaks, puff, he accurately hit a goblin, and the terrifying force made the goblin take several steps back before falling, and was soon overwhelmed by his companions behind him. There were so many goblins that it was impossible to miss. Zhou Yan bent his bow and arrow again and attacked the goblin. Facing such a dense crowd of goblins, the dwarves were still very nervous, but seeing Zhou Yan and the others so calm made the dwarf leader and the others relax. Aha! Diao Chan took the initiative and used Lotus Sword Technique, which is Diao Chan's own natal sword technique. The stronger the strength, the stronger the power that can be unleashed. Lotus shadows appeared in Diao Chan's sword moves. She turned into a stream of light and rushed directly into the group of goblins. The sword flowers flew, and then a powerful explosion sounded. Boom, like an earthquake, the entire cave shook. 
An energy aura rushed towards them, making everyone feel the terrifying aura. So powerful, the goblins were stunned and their eyes widened. Zhou Yan said directly, Go! Zhang Sansi Tang and other siblings rushed forward with weapons in hand. Their attributes completely suppressed each other, and these goblins were no match at all. A completely crushing battle with no possibility of resistance. The morale of the dwarves was greatly boosted, and their sense of belonging to Zhou Yan became stronger. Kill, Zhou Yan rushed over with the dwarves. They mainly used last-minute strikes to deal with the goblins who were still alive. Been killing for a while. He saw a taller goblin coming towards here. The goblin was about the size of a normal human being, and his whole body was full of explosive power. It was not simple at first glance. Jerry quickly reminded. That's the leader of the goblins. He led the goblins to destroy our village and capture me. The enemies were extremely jealous when they met, but the dwarves were not carried away. They knew that they were no match for the goblin leader. Leader, Zhou Yan glanced at the goblin leader. The boss is good, the boss means more rewards. Monster, goblin leader. Quality, enhanced leader. Level, level 20. Special, strength and spirit, strength, sweep thousands of armies. Introduction, he has good leadership skills and good wisdom. He likes to lead a group of goblins to rob weak races everywhere. This is a greedy and cruel leader. Closing square bracket. Nose skills. The goblin leader is holding a big iron rod, which is more difficult to deal with than the previous leader. Moreover, it has also been strengthened, and it is unknown how strong it is. The goblin leader walked towards Zhou Yan and the others. Seeing that his men were so useless, the angry goblin leader roared angrily, raised his long stick, and swept away the younger brother in front of him. Many goblins were hit, bloody and bloody. This goblin leader even killed his own people, it was really cruel. Roar, the goblin leader was very powerful. He held a big iron rod in his green hands and attacked Diao Chan. Diao Chan had already noticed it and dodged it easily. Boom, a huge pit exploded in the ground, showing how powerful this stick was. The goblin leader still wanted to attack, but Gen Mi had already concentrated her energy and launched an attack on the goblin leader. The goblin leader was affected and lowered the long stick he raised. At this time, Diao Chan's attack had already fallen on the goblin leader. A ray of sword light struck at the head of the goblin leader, aiming at its weak point. Click, but this sword did not kill the goblin leader instantly, it only caused damage to the goblin leader. I have to say that the level 20 enhanced boss has really good defense. Roar, after being injured, the goblin leader woke up from his groggy state. There was a lot of blood on his head. He raised his long stick and swept towards Diao Chan. A strong wind struck Diao Chan. Diao Chan jumped lightly, and her whole body flew up nimbly, avoiding the goblin leader's attack. After landing, Diao Chan quickly swung her sword and hit the goblin leader again. Feeling the pain, the goblin leader shouted again, raised his weapon and struck Diao Chan again. Diao Chan was very fast and reacted very quickly. As if dancing, she ducked slightly to the side and drew her sword again. The goblin couldn't do anything to Diao Chan. There were more and more sword marks on his body, more and more blood was flowing out, his speed began to decrease, and his physical strength began to run out. Gen Mi's mental damage once again fell on the goblin leader. The goblin leader fell into a deep sleep again. Diao Chan seized the opportunity and used all her strength to strike at the goblin leader's head. Puff, the goblin leader's head is separated from his body. The whole body fell to the ground. This was very serious for the morale of the goblins. After seeing their leader dead, they began to evacuate and fled outside desperately. Diao Chan and the others pursued the victory and killed one goblin after another. Kill the level 20 boss and the goblin boss, and you will receive an additional reward of 600 soul coins, 600 spirit coins, and a black iron building treasure chest. Closing square bracket. Great, I got another building treasure chest. It is also a black iron level other building treasure chest, which is a little better than the one you got at the beginning. The quality of the building does not have much influence on him. In any case, they will be evolved into buildings of S quality or above. This leader revealed three bronze treasure chests to him, which was pretty good luck. We, the dwarves, are willing to be loyal to the Lord. 
After Jerry and the others saw Zhou Yan's men killing the goblin leader, they quickly knelt down to show their allegiance. A powerful lord can naturally be recognized by other races. Zhou Yan has demonstrated his strong strength and avenged the dwarves. The dwarves are very happy to join his territory. Territory prompt. The leader of the dwarves, Jerry, is willing to lead a group of dwarves to join the heaven territory. Do you agree? Yes. Territory prompt. The dwarves join the heaven territory. Territory prompt. Congratulations on completing the hidden task of the newcomer trial, racial devotion. Reward 100 reputation points. Do you want to hide the information and make an announcement for the newcomer trial? Hidden mission. He was indeed surprised. He had no idea that there was such a hidden mission in the newcomer trial. He chose, yes, newbie trial announcement. Territory XXX belongs to Lord XXX, nationality is XXX, completes hidden tasks, and will be rewarded with 100 reputation points. Closing square bracket. Newbie trial announcement. Territory XXX belongs to Lord XXX, nationality is XXX, completes hidden tasks, and will be rewarded with 100 reputation points. Closing square bracket. Newbie trial announcement. Territory XXX belongs to Lord XXX, nationality is XXX, completes hidden tasks, and will be rewarded with 100 reputation points. Closing square bracket. The entire newcomer trial was speechless. Who is this? He can actually complete the hidden mission. Could this be the hidden boss from before? Darling, this is incredible. This has been two newbie broadcasts in a row. How can they survive? National chat channel. Who is this boss? He actually completed the hidden mission. Please show up, boss. The people upstairs are so shameless, why should they sacrifice themselves? To tell you the truth, I am the big boss. I don't know who this person is. It would be great if I could know what the hidden mission is. Excuse me, what is the role of reputation? I don't see reputation at all on my attribute panel. Dot 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 international chat channel. Spend 100,000 spirit coins to ask for that hidden mission. I am Prince Beatty. As long as you are willing to tell the secret of the hidden mission, I will give you 5 million spiritual coins. We, the Tokugawa group, are willing to pay 3 million to buy hidden mission information. I will offer you 10 million from Amazon, provided that the content must be true. Dot dot dot. Logically speaking, it is impossible for people from these large groups to do this. Just because they have never heard of newcomer trials and so-called hidden tasks. In other words, this newbie trial is the only time where hidden tasks appear. Before this, there had been no hidden missions. Because of this, people all over the world are so eager to know what this hidden mission is and how it can be triggered and completed. It's a pity that countless rich people have been shouting on the international channel for a long time, but they still haven't gotten much information. On the other hand, there are countless people who claim to know the hidden mission and want to defraud them of their wealth, but they are so easy to deceive. Zhou Yan didn't know any of this. How could he have time to look at the chat room now? He was busy looking at Jerry's information. Name. Jerry. Gender. Male. Age. 42. Race. Dwarf. Lord. Zhou Yan. Quality. A. Loyalty. 90. Level. 18. Upgrade required. 260 soul coins. Charm. 2 base 0.2. Luck. 2 base 0.2. Strength. 18.5 base 0.5. Physique. 18.7 basic 0.7. Agility. 9.3 base 0.3. Spirit. 9.6 base 0.4. Talent. Forging. Forging grade. Silver 35%. Skill 1. Dwarf blacksmithing weapon forging speed plus 10%, attribute bonus 10%. Skill 2. Cloak hammering method forging speed plus 50%. Introduction. The leader of the dwarf tribe has good forging skills. They are natural forging experts. Closing square bracket. It can't be compared with the summoned heroes. Zhou Yan sighed after reading Jerry's information. Jerry is level 18, and his attributes are not as good as those of Sido and the others. But what Zhou Yan values is their forging talent. He acquired dozens of blacksmiths this time, and coupled with the dwarves' natural forging talent, this pair is definitely a huge asset. Jerry's forging level has reached silver, which means he can forge other white silver level equipment. 
This was an unexpected surprise. The improvement of sub-professional experience depends on the quantity of forged equipment, which cannot be improved with spirit coins and soul coins. The forging level is similar to that of equipment, from low to high, black iron, bronze, silver, gold, dark gold, platinum, diamond, great master, grand master, divine level. Jerry is already a white silver level other blacksmith, so he can forge other white silver level equipment. This presupposes that there are enough materials for him to forge. Other white silver level equipment requires three or more ores to forge. Most of the ores at the foot of Goblin Mountain are one star iron ore, with a small amount of two star iron ore. As for the three star ore, only a few pieces have been found so far. It would be enough to make a dagger, but no one in his territory likes to use daggers. In the final analysis, there is still insufficient material. He planned to go back to the trading floor to see if there was any high level ore for sale. It is estimated that few people will have it at this stage. After the dwarves became the people of the territory, he opened the treasure room storage function of the territory to them and then asked them to collect all the ores here. After the goblin leader died, the rest of the goblins fled and died. He asked everyone to collect the loot and put everything into the treasure room. Weapons were put away one by one. Treasure chests were picked up one by one. There are more and more pieces of ore. Lord, I discovered the place where the goblins store their treasures. Gen M.I. ran over to claim the credit. Great, Chenur, let's go take a look. Zhou Yan led the two beauties towards the goblins' treasure room. What you see is a pile of well-made weapons and equipment, as well as a lot of silver and gold. This is an ornament carved from jade. Zhou Yan saw that there were still some jade ornaments here, which should have been obtained by goblins robbing a certain race. Unfortunately, these jade stones are only decorations, not equipment, and do not have any attribute bonus. This is a silver jewelry. Zhou Yan still saw a statue of a god carved from white jade. He didn't know which race it belonged to. It looked like it was a statue of a god. Item. Mountain Spirit Statue. Quality. Silver. Introduction. A statue carved by a group of mountain elves, which can bring them good luck. Closing square bracket. Generally speaking, this kind of thing has no value. But these things are like antique jade in the real world. They will have different values in the hands of different people. In the real world, many people like jade and other things. The higher the quality, the more expensive the price. This thing should be useful in the right treasure room. He put all these things into his territory, and then looked at the treasure room to see if there were any changes. Sure enough, he noticed a change. Building. Treasure room. Level. Level 20. Required for upgrade. 30,000 spirit coins, 304 star wood, 304 star stone. Quality. SSS 0 quarters. Required for upgrade, 4 treasure rooms. Defense, 30,000 30 thousandths. Special attribute 1. Contains 10,000 cubic meters of space, which can automatically classify and organize various treasures. Closing square bracket. Special attribute 2. Broken treasures can be automatically repaired. The higher the quality of the treasure, the longer it will take. Repairing treasures requires spending spiritual coins. Closing square bracket. Attribute Blessing. Bronze Treasure 5, Silver Treasure 1, Insufficient Treasures, Unable to Activate Additional Attribute Blessing. Closing Square Bracket. Introduction. Store Various Treasures. The more treasures you store, the higher the quality of the treasures, and you will have unexpected gains. Closing Square Bracket. Equipment cannot be considered treasures, only things like Mountain Spirit statues can be considered treasures. He already knows the capabilities of this treasure room. Because of the collection of loot, they returned to their territory very late. We also encountered many monsters walking at night on the road. With Diao Chan and the others there, there were no major problems. But it is indeed too dangerous to be outside at night. Some monsters are very fast at night. Fortunately, Gen Mi has the ability to restrain them, otherwise it would be really difficult to deal with them. They finally returned to the territory safely. Everyone has been tired all day and needs a good rest at night. Zhou Yan first brought the dwarves to the Shen Weapon Workshop. After seeing such a high-level forging environment, the dwarves' eyes lit up. Is this place really our future forging room? It's so beautiful here. Those defense towers look so powerful. Dwarf God, 
That's the elemental tower. It looks very powerful. Oh my god, the quality of this defense tower is so high. Look, look, the quality of these buildings is at least S level or above. This is amazing. This place is so powerful that not a single building is ordinary. Our forging room is also of SS quality. We are so happy. This place will belong to us from now on. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Zhou Yan just showed them casually, and the dwarves started dancing with excitement. Dwarves naturally like forging. Once they see such a high quality forging room, they will not leave even if Zhou Yan drives them away. Sure enough, their loyalty immediately rose, reaching the highest level of 98 points. They only need to work harder to prevent them from betraying. Dear Lord, can we start forging? Jerry looked at Zhou Yan excitedly. Start forging now. Zhou Yan really convinced these dwarves, who were more anxious than himself. Aren't you tired? I hope you will take good care of yourself before forging. After all, you are still injured to some extent. Zhou Yan was thinking about them, he was not a capitalist who only knew about exploitation. He was a lord who cared for his subordinates. Lord, how can we sleep after seeing such a good forging room? If we don't forge it, I'm afraid we won't be able to sleep all night. As for the injury, don't worry. Nothing helps me recover faster than forging. Jerry quickly replied. Zhou Yan was also convinced. Seeing the pleading eyes of these dwarves, he could only agree. Okay, but I hope you don't forge it too late. Anyway, this place will belong to you from now on. Zhou Yan said. Thank you, Lord. A group of dwarves said happily. Zhou Yan took out all the ores from the treasure room and also put a lot of wood in. How could he ignite the forging equipment without firewood? As soon as wood and ores appear, these dwarves began to forge equipment enthusiastically. Even the Lord Zhou Yan seemed to be like air. A bunch of forging maniacs. Zhou Yan smiled and left here. I just hope these dwarves don't stay up too late doing the forging. Lord, Diao Chan has already passed Spirit Field, do you want to go there together? Gen Mi saw Zhou Yan and came over quickly. By the way, many of the fruits and vegetables in Spirit Field should be ripe. He and Gen Mi came to Spirit Field and found that Diao Chan, Si Tang and others were all here. Only Zhang San returned to the barracks. In front of them is a Spirit Field full of various fruits and vegetables. Who would have thought that they only planted these things yesterday morning? As soon as they entered the confines of the spirit field, they smelled a scent of various melons and fruits, which refreshed their spirits. Lord, a group of people said hello to Zhou Yan. Zhou Yan nodded in response, picked a cucumber and started eating it. It tastes good. As soon as Zhou Yan ate it, he felt that a lot of fatigue had disappeared and his body was full of strength. The effects of what was grown in spirit field are really amazing. It's so delicious. Gen Mi also picked a fruit to eat and praised it quickly. Zhou Yan, try this, it tastes very good. Diao Chan brought some strawberries and handed them to Zhou Yan and Gen Mi. Zhou Yan tasted it and found that it was indeed delicious. It was many times stronger than ordinary strawberries. How could he eat such delicious food before? Now, he can eat it every day. Therefore, he must protect this territory. He must protect these people even more. These are all an integral part of the territory. I feel full of energy all over my body. After eating some strawberries, Zhou Yan clicked on his attributes and found that his attribute points had actually increased. Both strength and constitution increased by 0.1. The effect of these fruits is too strong. Of course, it is impossible for these fruits to continue to increase so fast. He is able to increase his attributes now only because he took them for the first time. When you take more in the future, the rate of increase will slow down. No wonder you can't see these fruits grown in spirit field being sold in Candlin Continent. Fruits like this are nowhere to be bought by ordinary people. Even if they can be bought, the price is definitely very expensive. These are just grown from ordinary seeds, but they have such a great effect. If real spirit medicine were grown, how valuable would it be and how effective would it be? He couldn't imagine it. He doesn't have any spirit medicine seeds right now, and there's nothing he can do if he wants to try it. Zhou Yan thought of someone and opened his friend list. It was discovered that Qin Yao sent him dozens of messages today. After reading them one by one, he responded, I just finished my work and I just saw the message now. Are you busy? Not long after, 
the other party responded, you are really a busy man. It's already dark, do you still dare to go out and hunt monsters at night? Zhou Yan did not answer, but directly opened the transaction column and placed a strawberry on it. Qin Yao was curious and checked it out. Item. Spirit Strawberry. Quality. E. Introduction. Strawberries are full of spiritual energy. If you eat too much, you will get unexpected rewards. Closing square bracket. Qin Yao was startled and asked quickly, I'll go. Where did you get it? If she were in Candlin Continent, she wouldn't be so surprised. After all, although these things are precious to her, she can still eat them occasionally. How much is this thing worth? Zhou Yan asked. What, you actually want to sell it? Qin Yao was speechless. She spent a lot of money to buy meat, and the other party didn't seem to be short of money. But Qin Yao still said, the price of each kind of spiritual fruit is different. In the real world, strawberries without spiritual energy only cost tens of yuan per caddy. But strawberries with spiritual energy are definitely not sold by kilograms, but sold individually. The current price of quality e spiritual strawberries in Candlin Continent is around 300 spiritual coins. But let me tell you first, if you want to sell it, you have to sell it to me, not to anyone else. Qin Yao replied very excitedly. Although this is the market price, it is not easy to buy. The key is that there are no channels. Generally, they are either acquired by the state, or are in the hands of large groups, and ordinary people cannot buy them even if they have money. Ling strawberries are sold by quantity, and each one is worth 300 Ling coins. One strawberry plant can grow about 12 fruits. That's 3,600 spirit coins, and it only takes two days to fully mature. He can make a lot of money just by selling these spirit strawberries. He now feels that earning spiritual coins is very simple, and he no longer needs to worry about money. Whether it's spirit spring water or spirit field, you can earn a lot of money just by selling it. But, in the world of lords, strength is the way to go. Becoming an immortal or a demon and being immortal forever is what everyone pursues. Honestly, did you get a spirit field? Qin Yao asked quickly. Oh, how could you make such a guess? Zhou Yan was curious. Although altar sacrifices are tricky, there will always be some very special situations. Qin Yao thought he obtained the spirit field from a sacrifice at the altar. This is also understandable. At this stage, it is most reasonable to obtain the spirit field from there. Sell me some strawberries, I'm greedy. Equals katakana middle dot omega katakana middle dot smiley face O. Oh. Qin Yao said very eagerly. How much do you want? Zhou Yan asked. Of course all of them. Qin Yao replied. Zhou Yan. Angle, no. I'll keep some for myself. Zhou Yan finally sold her 100 spirit strawberries. Your spirit field is growing too fast. It's only the third day. Even the spirit field you got on the first day can't grow so fast. In the subsequent chat, Zhou Yan learned from Qin Yao that even the spirit field could not grow so fast. I irrigated it with spiritual spring water. Zhou Yan replied. That's it. Qin Yao replied. That thing is not easy to grab. Many people are watching it. Qin Yao continued. Zhou Yan smiled. There was no need to snatch this thing. He was the one who sold it. Later, Zhou Yan took out a lot of beast meat and equipment and sold them to the other party. Naturally, he kept all the good equipment and only sold some unused bronze equipment to Qin Yao. Let me go, you even have bronze equipment, you are a nouveau riche. Qin Yao was shocked again and really couldn't understand how Zhou Yan got it. Everyone had their own secrets, so she didn't ask too many questions. After calculating them carefully, she gave Zhou Yan a large amount of spiritual coins. Dot dot dot. Diao Chan and the others have almost finished harvesting the mature crops in Spirit Field. He gave the remaining seeds to Si Tang and the others to plant. Now that he had someone on hand, he no longer needed to do these things himself. I went to cook. Diao Chan left with fresh vegetables and fruits. I'm going to help too. Jen Mi also wanted to learn how to cook, so she followed Diao Chan. Zhou Yan asked Si Wu to bring some spiritual fruits to the dwarves. The loyalty of these dwarves was already very high, and the loyalty of several dwarves had even reached 100. He took out five piranha seeds, planted them on the spirit field, and then poured spiritual spring water over them. The piranha seeds grew rapidly and soon reached several meters. 
Then he found that they were no longer growing, so he poured many liters of spiritual spring water again. The piranha seeds grew again. The piranha seeds require twice as many spiritual springs as the vine demon. It didn't take long for the piranha to fully mature. It was about 10 meters tall, covering the sky and the sun, and looked very scary. It is much more powerful than the previous piranha leader and looks very powerful. They can really eat people. A colorful light shrouded the five piranha flowers. Piranha completes its growth and begins to evolve, evolving into flower demon. Five rays of light flashed, and five women in red palace clothes appeared in front of him, saluting Zhou Yensha, hello, lord. Okay, okay. Each flower demon looks like a fairy, very charming and charming, and has an extremely good figure. Who would know that these women are a group of man-eating flowers if they don't know their true identities? Zhou Yan quickly looked at their information. Name, can be named. Gender, female. Age, 18. Race, monster race. Lord, Zhou Yan. Quality, SSS. Loyalty, 100. Level, 0. Upgrade required, 40 soul coins. Charm, 3, basic 3. Luck, 3, base 0.3. Strength, 6 base 0.6. Physique, 5 basic 0.5. Agility, 2 base 0.2. Spirit, 3 base 0.3. Talent, transformation turn into the real body of piranha. Skill, poison powder contains strong poison and can also hallucinate enemies. Introduction, evolved by mysterious energy, basic attributes increase tenfold. Inspired by great opportunities, it evolved from piranha seeds. Closing square bracket. Zhou Yan began to name these flower demons and said to the first flower demon, From now on, you will be called Wa Yurong, you will be called Wa Yuying, you will be called Wa Yulian, you will be called Wa Yufeng, and you will be called Wa Yuexue. Then start upgrading them, all to level 10. Soul Coin 40, Monster Race Wa Yurong, level upgraded from level 0 to level 1. Closing square bracket. Soul coin 50. Monster race Wa Yurong. Level upgraded from level 1 to level 2. Closing square bracket. Soul Coin 60. Monster race Wa Yurong. Level upgraded from level 2 to level 3. Closing square bracket. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Then, they all have one more skill. Skill 2. Poison sting shoots 5 poisonous stings to attack the enemy. This is a group attack skill, which is very good. It is still very effective when there are many monsters. After leveling up, the power of their skills will increase. Five more powerful, monster race has been added to the territory. Zhou Yan took out the black iron building treasure chest. Territory tip. Obtain building D energy tower. It is a defense tower with quality D, and its power is much stronger than ordinary defense towers. I don't know what it will evolve into. Zhou Yan began construction. Ding. Build energy tower. Energy tower evolves into light tower. Lighthouse. Zhou Yan was stunned. He had never heard of this kind of defense tower. He looked at the building and found that the entire territory was shrouded in light. The newly appeared lighthouse emitted light like a small sun, illuminating the entire territory as if it were daytime. And it gives people a very comfortable feeling. Open this building's information to start viewing. Building. Wangming Tower. Level. Level 1. Upgrade required. 300 spirit coins. Quality. SSS 0 over 1. Upgrade required. A Tower of Light. Defense. 500 five hundredths. Special Attribute. Lighting can illuminate the entire territory, increase the overall attributes of all buildings by 10%. Introduction. The mysterious lighthouse can drive away darkness, bring light and hope to the territory, drive away all kinds of negative energy, and enhance various abilities. Closing square bracket. This is actually a gain type building. Zhou Yan was very surprised. Enhanced buildings are not only rare, but also extremely rare. Moreover, the ability of this building is very powerful. At level 1, it can increase the overall attributes of each building by 10%. This is a full attribute gain, not a single attribute gain. That is to say, even the building's defense and skill power are increased by 10%. What a powerful building this is. What a treasure. He couldn't wait to go out and hunt a few boss level monsters every day, so that he could obtain more special buildings. Territory prompt. 
consumption of 300 spirit coins will raise the level of lighting tower to level 2. Territory prompt. Consumption of 600 spirit coins will raise the level of lighting tower to level 3. Territory prompt. Consume 900 spirit coins to upgrade light tower to level 4. Dot 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 dot. Building. Guangming Tower. Level. Level 20. Upgrade required. 300 spirit coins. Quality. SSS 0 over 1. Upgrade required. A lighthouse. Defense. 50,000 50 thousandths. Special attribute 1. Lighting can illuminate the entire territory, increase the overall attributes of all buildings by 30%. Special attribute 2. Increase the defense power of all races in the territory by 20%. Closing square bracket. Introduction. The mysterious lighthouse can drive away darkness, bring light and hope to the territory, drive away all kinds of negative energy, and enhance various abilities. Closing square bracket. Face-to-face -face skills have also been improved by 20%. The key is that a new ability has been added, which can actually increase their defense by 20%. In this way, everyone's safety has also increased a lot. This game type building will undoubtedly greatly improve the entire territory. Zhou Yan came to the Linquan. Apart from the spring water he consumed, he could still collect a lot. He opened the trading floor and found the little Guaiguai store he was interested in. Unexpectedly, the other party had a lot of bamboos on the shelves, and they were all sold in sets of 200 bamboos. Territory prompt. National Trading Hall purchases 200 bamboos and consumes 2,000 spiritual coins. Territory prompt. National Trading Hall purchases 200 bamboos and consumes 2,000 spiritual coins. Dot dot dot. He bought them all in one go, and then asked the five sisters Wa Yurong to start filling the spiritual spring water. Little Guaiguai, after hearing the news about the territory, the Lord immediately opened the trading hall. After seeing Zuzi being taken away by the mysterious man in seconds, he finally felt relieved. She was really worried that if the other party didn't buy it, her time cutting bamboo would really be wasted. To put it bluntly, she was really worried that the other party would one day stop buying her bamboo. The entire new lord only had as much bamboo as the mysterious man needed. Moreover, she even doubted whether the other party was the one selling spiritual spring water. Precisely because this is a win-win relationship, she has never raised prices. Because of selling bamboo, her territory has developed very well, and she will definitely get a better result in this newbie assessment. Zhou Yan naturally doesn't care what others think, he has already started to put Linquan water on the shelves. Still the same as before, a set of spiritual spring water cells for 10,500. Territory tip. International Trading Hall sells a set of spiritual springs and gains 10,000 spiritual coins. Territory tip. International Trading Hall sells a set of spiritual springs and gains 10,000 spiritual coins. Territory tip. International Trading Hall sells a set of spiritual springs and gains 10,000 spiritual coins. Dot 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 dot. Not long after it was put on the shelves, those who came after hearing the news began to rush to buy it to see who could be faster. Sold several million more spirit coins. Zhou Yan then put all the low-level equipment that he didn't need. Qin Yao didn't need these low-level equipment. After all, she didn't have a lot of soldiers now. The main reason is that he has too much equipment. He doesn't like the equipment below Black Iron at all now, and has sold them all. Another large sum of spiritual coins was obtained. More and more people are paying attention to him, mainly because he has so much equipment. He has sold hundreds of ordinary equipment alone, and more than a hundred pieces of Black Iron equipment. This amount of equipment has long shocked the lords of the entire newcomer territory. Chatroom. This mysterious man is too scary. Not only does he sell a large amount of spiritual spring water every day, but now he also sells so much equipment. Could it be that he robbed some weapons depot? I roughly calculated that this guy has earned at least more than 3 million spiritual coins from selling spiritual spring water alone. Adding in yesterday's words, good guy, it's more than 6 million. Nima, there are too many rich people. Where do they get the spiritual coins? Boy, don't you know this? There is a special prop called a spirit coin card. The high-level spirit coin card can bring 100 million spirit coins into the newcomer trial at one time. I have one.
tens of millions of spiritual coins, be envious, you are so poor. I have the nerve to show off my 10 million spirit coin card, but I passed by with 1 billion spirit coins. Boss, please hug me. Brothers, do you want to see private photos? 100 spirit coins per photo are definitely worth the money. Big billionaire, this little girl can warm the bed and play the music and sing. Do you need anything? Dot dot dot, dot dot dot. His current spiritual coins finally exceeded the 10 million mark, but he still couldn't afford the items in the mysterious store. Therefore, he is still a poor man. In order to be able to buy better equipment in the future, he also needs to find a way to earn hundreds of millions more small dollars. After his level exceeded level 10, there were several more statues that could be built in the territory. But it prompts that the territory level is insufficient. So, he began to upgrade the territory. Territory prompt. Your territory has been upgraded to level 9. Territory prompt. Your territory has been upgraded to level 10. Territory prompt. You are the first lord to raise the territory level to level 10 in this newbie trial. The newbie trial territory level ranking list has been opened, and 100 reputation points will be awarded. A newbie trial announcement will be made, will you? Announce the name of the territory, real name and nationality. Goose. It's going to be on TV again. Really annoying. Zhou Yan chose, no, without hesitation. Newcomer trial announcement. Territory XXX belongs to Lord XXX and nationality is XXX. The first one to upgrade the territory level to level 10 will be rewarded with 100 reputation points. Closing square bracket. Newcomer trial announcement. Territory XXX belongs to Lord XXX and nationality is XXX. The first one to upgrade the territory level to level 10 will be rewarded with 100 reputation points. Closing square bracket. Newcomer trial announcement. Territory XXX belongs to Lord XXX and nationality is XXX. The first one to upgrade the territory level to level 10 will be rewarded with 100 reputation points. Closing square bracket. International chat room channel. An asterisk carat percent dollar asterisk n. Mysterious man, come out. Don't let me know who you are. Three TVs a day, you're really good at it. Maybe it's three people. It is seriously suspected that they are the same person. National chat room. This is the real boss. He appeared on TV again without saying anything. I don't know which country this person is from. Where can he build 10 buildings on the third day? The difference between people is really big. Stop talking. I'll go back to the thatched house and feel sad. Territory name. Heaven Diao Chan Hidden. Territory talent. Special items plus 10%. Territory level. Level 10, the next level requires the construction of 11 buildings above level 11. Area, 10,000 square meters. Special attribute 1. All attributes of the territorial human race plus 15%. Special attribute 2. Attributes of all clans in the territory plus 10%. Building. Details. Number of people in the territory, 48 people. Source. Details. Buildings that can be constructed. Professional statue, floor tiles, cottage. Three buildings have been added, each of which has very good functions. Especially, the cottage. The main reason is that there is no latrine in artifact refining workshop, so you can't go to other buildings every time you use the toilet, so this building comes at the right time. Aura Bamboo House, Bronze Bird Terrace, and White Robe Ghost Soldier, Barracks all have their own huts and rooms. There is no more mysterious shop. It is like a small store with only one counter and only five items appearing at a time. Start building buildings. Ding. Build the professional change statue and the professional change statue evolves into the ancient temple. Ding. Build thatch thatch evolves into sewage toilet. Two rays of light appeared in the territory and two buildings appeared immediately. But that sewage toilet is really a modern toilet. This is not surprising because many people can build high-rise buildings in their territories, but those high-rise buildings do not have attribute bonuses. There is no bonus for things that are not recognized by the Lord World, but it is still possible to live there. Although he was curious about the function of this sewage bathroom, ancient temple attracted his attention more. This name alone is extraordinary. He has opened up the attributes of this career hall. Building. Ancient temple. Level. Special building. No level. Quality. Unknown. 
Defense. Indestructible. Special attribute. Inheritance. Introduction. The temple lost in the long river of time contains mysterious inheritance. There are many inheritance treasures of ancient gods left in it, waiting for the destined person to open them. If the territory crystal is broken, the temple will disappear. Closing square bracket. Zhou Yan was shocked. The ancient temple turned out to be a building without levels. Even the quality is unknown. He had never heard of it. This is definitely the most powerful and mysterious building in his territory. He looked at the properties of sewage toilet again. Building. Sewage toilet. Level. Level 1. Required for upgrade. 100 spirit coins. Quality. S0 100s. Required for upgrade. 102 star stones. Defense. 100 100s. Special attribute. Sewage removal and odor removal. Introduction. Keep your territory tidy, starting from the bathroom. Closing square bracket. Floor tiles do not belong to architecture, but are a decorative thing. But floor tiles have still evolved, and he can now choose floor tiles of different prices to decorate the floor as he likes. After taking a quick look, there are not only retro floor tiles, but also modern floor tiles, everything you need. He is now eager to see what kind of professions there are in the ancient temple. This building is obviously different from other buildings. Under the night sky, it exudes a hazy golden light, and an indescribable mysterious aura hits. This is a mysterious hall full of time. The temple does not occupy a large area, only more than 300 square meters, but it has three levels of stairs, each with nine steps. The temple door looked like it was poured with gold, but he believed that it was definitely not made of gold, but a very mysterious and special material. On both sides of the entrance gate, there are two rows of stone-carved weapons, including knives, spears, swords, halberds, a total of 36 stone statues of weapons. Zhou Yan pushed open the gilded ancient door, and a golden light came from the door. The feeling of mystery, antiquity, vicissitudes, and majesty rose from Zhou Yan's heart. He seemed to have traveled through time and saw some magical scenes, powerful alien beasts roaring into the sky, ancient races with astonishing fighting power, one punch could break mountains and rivers, one palm could eclipse the sky and the earth, and one sword could cut 3,000 miles, one knife can split space. What an amazing picture this is, what a desirable strength this is. Suddenly, the next scene looked a little familiar to Zhou Yan. There was a giant who struck the opening heaven with an axe, ushering in a new era. There was a saint who preached to three people and opened up the world. He saw the battle between the dragon and the phoenix, the two great beasts, and the conquest between the two clans of Lich. I also saw the legendary Nuwa patching up the sky, the human king Fuxi established Bagua, and the human sovereign competed with Kai Yu. I also saw the gods fighting a certain race in the sky. A strong man looked down at all living beings, with his back to the galaxy. Suddenly, the man turned his head to look at him. In an instant, Zhou Yan's eyes widened. Why did that person look so like him? Just when he wanted to see more clearly, the picture stopped abruptly. The scene is like a picture, fleeting. It was like a movie, flashing by in a hurry, and recording the years of a mysterious and powerful civilization. Is this also the glory days of the earth? Also, do those people, that person, really exist? Or are these just daydreams? Suddenly, a mysterious voice appeared in Zhou Yan's mind, the beginning of the inheritance, for whom it was built. Is anyone here? Zhou Yan asked quickly. There was only one puzzling statement left for him, and nothing else. The light disappeared, and Zhou Yan was very surprised when he saw this place. There was only one bridge in front of him, and this bridge had no end as far as the eye could see. He seemed to be among the stars. Inside this building, there is actually a space of its own. The sky is filled with cosmic starlight, which can only be seen from a distance but cannot be grasped. Divine bridge connects the universe. Isn't this the inheritance space? Why can't I see any inheritance? Since entering here, his mind has been filled with doubts and confusion. This temple is very mysterious and has many secrets. Suddenly, he saw a dark vortex appearing in the void, like a black hole, but Zhou Yan was startled, thinking that the black hole would swallow him. But after the black hole appeared, a subtitle appeared. Fu Shen Yang Shuji Inheritance. God of Talisman Yang Shuji. Zhou Yan looked at the black hole in surprise. 
He was not unfamiliar with this name because there was an introduction about this person in the mythical history of Kanglin continent. Did I think wrongly? This temple is not from the earth. Zhou Yan said in surprise. Then, a message came into his mind. He already understands how to obtain the inheritance. He only needs to choose one of the open black hole spaces to enter it. Only those who pass the trial can obtain the inheritance. But he had no choice and moved forward again. There are many professions in the world of lords, so finding the one that suits you is the best choice. The ancient temple is mysterious and extraordinary, and every profession in it is a rare hidden profession. He had never heard of the, Fu God, profession in front of him. Unfortunately, he didn't like that profession very much and had no choice but to give up. As it leads to the divine bridge, the vast void changes again, a black hole appears again, and another subtitle appears above it. The inheritance of the bow god Huyi. Huyi. Seeing this figure, Zhou Yan stopped. Huyi is a legendary figure in China. He hunted for nine days with a magic bow and killed countless evil beasts. He is a very legendary figure. After thinking about it, he moved on. There were countless inheritances here, so he was not in a hurry. Not long after, a figure appeared in the void again. Dragon God Yingli Inheritance. Dragon God Yingli. He has no knowledge of this character at all. This sounds like the inheritance of a divine dragon. Can he also inherit it? In this way, people of any race can be inherited here. After that, Zhou Yan continued walking and discovered a lot of inheritances one after another. Gun God Taishu Inheritance. The Inheritance of Vulcan Jirong. Heavenly Emperor Emperor's Inheritance. The Inheritance of God of War Ares. Beast God Guli Inheritance. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Some of these characters were familiar to him, and some were unknown to him. There are characters from Kanglin Continent legends, as well as characters from various mythical legends on Earth. Of course, there are many characters that he has never heard of. Every character here, without exception, is a very powerful existence. There are countless inheritances here. The key is that each inheritance is unique, very powerful and precious. These inheritances require trials to obtain, and only strong strength can be recognized. Zhou Yan was very excited when he saw it. Each profession is very powerful, but he can only choose one inheritance. Fortunately, each inheritance has an introduction. He only needs to use his mind to communicate with the inheritance space to know the general content of these inheritances. In this way, he can conditionally choose the inheritance that is most suitable for him based on his own characteristics and conduct trials. Along the way, probably hundreds of inheritance black holes lit up. A golden black hole lit up, making Zhou Yan stop. Heavenly Sovereign Fuxi Inheritance. He saw another inheritance. Fuxi is a figure who is like the ancestor of humanity and the head of the three emperors. Even the Earth Emperor Shenong and the Human Sovereign Emperor's achievements are still not as good as his. Fuxi made extraordinary achievements. He was born in the ancient times, founded Bagua, protected the foundation of mankind, and created the fire for the inheritance of human civilization. He led the people to develop and grow, and had many deeds, even Zhou Yan only knew a few of them. He explored Fuxi's inheritance and found that this inheritance was indeed special. It could not only strengthen his own strength, but also strengthen his territory. This was definitely the most suitable one for him among all inheritances. All his strength comes from his territory. The stronger the territory, the more helpful it will be to him. Although other inheritances also have many coveted features, they are still not comprehensive enough compared to the Fuxi inheritance. The ancient temple prompts, are you sure to choose heavenly sovereign Fuxi inheritance? Each race can only choose one inheritance. If the trial fails, the next trial will start 30 days later. During the trial, the inheritance space the time flow rate to the outside world is 100, 1. Zhou Yan was surprised. After failure, you will have another chance to continue the trial every month until the inheritance is successful. Moreover, these inheritances are unique. As long as they are chosen by someone, unless that person voluntarily gives up or dies, this inheritance will not be open to outsiders. A person can only choose one of the inheritances, and even he is no exception. I didn't expect that the ratio of the time flow rate in the inheritance space to the outside reaches 100, 1. 
In other words, even if you stay in the inheritance space for 100 days, only one day has passed outside. This is definitely a good thing for Zhou Yan. After all, he cannot leave the territory for a long time. The key is that the territory is still in the trial stage for newcomers. But he still left the ancient temple and came to the territory. Before entering the inheritance, he had to arrange everything in the territory. Found Diao Chan and the others. Chenur, I have something to tell you. I'm going to the Taiku Temple to receive my professional inheritance. I don't know how long I'll have to go. He didn't know how long he would pass on it there, so he briefly told them about the ancient temple. Chenur, if I fail to come out in time, everything here will be left to you. Diao Chan and Zhen Mi are very powerful, plus there are so many people like Si Tang in the territory, even if he can't come out tomorrow, he will definitely be fine. The ratio of the inheritance space to the time outside reached 100, 1, so he couldn't stay in it for a long time. Don't worry, as long as I am here, the territory will not be destroyed by monsters. You can accept the inheritance with peace of mind. Diao Chan is still very confident about this. I will also assist Sister Diochen. Jen M. I also said. Then the territory will be left to you. Before I leave, I will summon some white-robed ghost soldiers. It's easier to do things with more people. Now the territory is too big and we need more manpower. After the explanation, Zhou Yan took the two women directly to the barracks. Hello, Lord. Zhang San saluted quickly when he saw Zhou Yan. Zhou Yan nodded and went directly to the summoning platform. Territory prompt. Spend 1,000 soul coins to summon a white-robed ghost soldier. Territory prompt. Spend 1,000 soul coins to summon a white-robed ghost soldier. Territory prompt. Spend 1,000 soul coins to summon a white-robed ghost soldier. Dot dot dot. He summoned a total of 20 white-robed ghost soldiers, this time, spending 20,000 soul coins. All those summoned were soldiers, and no special generals were summoned. Although it was a pity, Zhou Yan had already been mentally prepared. See the Lord. Twenty soldiers knelt down on one knee and said to Zhou Yan. No gift. Zhou Yan raised their levels to level 10 again, so he didn't have many soul coins left. Gen M.I. had already opened all the treasure boxes when he entered the temple. Just as he thought, the treasure boxes stacked in the treasure room can be opened at once, which can save a lot of time in opening boxes. From now on, Zhang San will be your captain, and you will obey his command. Zhou Yan ordered. Yes, all the soldiers replied. Then, Zhou Yan announced again, because this lord needs to accept the inheritance, Diao Chan will take care of the affairs in the territory during his absence. You must obey her instructions without making any mistakes. Yes, this is already a disguised proof of Diao Chan's status in Zhou Yan's heart. After the explanation, Zhou Yan asked them to rest early, found Si Tang and the others, and asked them to obey Diao Chan's orders. Afterwards, the two women accompanied Zhou Yan to the outside of the ancient temple. Looking at this mysterious temple, Zhou Yan said, I will come out as soon as possible. When I come out, you can also go in and accept the inheritance. Under the gaze of the two women, Zhou Yan walked into the ancient temple. Heavenly Sovereign Fuxi Inheritance. As Zhou Yan turned into a ray of light, he directly entered the inheritance space. You have entered the inheritance space and become a member of the Wind Tribe. Goose. Just gone. How to complete the inheritance? How to test it? I can't explain it clearly. Can this guy still accept the inheritance properly? Why, there is no choice but to take one step at a time. There was no prompt, it was just a blast. But it was him who exploded. I looked at myself, he turned out to be a primitive man. The clothes on his body have long turned into an animal skin, and there is only one piece of animal skin covering the important parts of his body. And his figure has become much taller and straighter, especially in one place. He found that his power was very powerful, but he could not contact his heart of the Lord, and could not use any equipment skills. They come, the security. Looking at it, there was a vast wasteland, but the aura was extremely rich. He walked around and came to a cliff, where he found a man also wearing animal skin hovering there. The key was that the man's lower body turned out to be the body of a snake. Goose, this can't be Fuxi. Zhou Yan stepped forward curiously and asked, Hello, is your name Fuxi? 
The man turned around and saw a handsome man who was full of wisdom at first sight. Oh, which tribe are you from, and what do you want to ask me about? Fuxi said with a smile. It's really Fuxi. Zhou Yan had mixed feelings and was extremely excited. This was the ancestor of humanities. How gratifying it was for him to be able to communicate face to face with this ancestor-like figure. He had heard rumors that Fu Shi was a man full of great wisdom. People often asked him many questions, and Fu Shi also regarded him as the person who came to ask him questions. Zhou Yan sat down and said, I'm not here to ask you. Seeing that you are sitting here, you seem to be thinking about something. Can you tell me, maybe I can help you? This space is originally the inheritance of Fuxi, and only by contacting him can the trial be completed. This is all he can try now. Oh, Fuxi was indeed surprised. This was the first time he heard such words. What's your name? Fuxi observed Zhou Yan carefully. My name is Zhou Yan, and I am also from the Fufeng tribe. Are you looking at this world? Zhou Yan took the initiative to say. Heaven and Earth. Fuxi heard this and asked, what do you think of this world? Zhou Yan thought for a while and said, there are many types of heaven and earth, it depends on which one you ask. Isn't there only one heaven and earth? Why are there so many different kinds? Fuxi really didn't understand Zhou Yan's words. Zhou Yan smiled and replied, the place we are standing on is the earth, and above us is the sky. But all things in the world are not just a heaven and earth that we see in front of us. Every person, every animal, a tree or a flower is a world. As the saying goes, a flower is a world, a grass is a bodhi, anything can be called heaven and earth. Zhou Yan's words were like opening the door to a new world for Fu Shi. He seemed to suddenly understand many puzzling questions. He closed his eyes and did not open them for a long time. Zhou Yan, e, did I say something wrong? As a person of later generations, he can be said to stand on the shoulders of giants. His understanding of everything in the world is naturally not something that the ancients could understand. But these things didn't start with them. But, without them laying the cultural foundation, there would be no prosperity for future generations. After a long time, just when Zhou Yan thought Fuxi was asleep, a golden light burst out from his body. The powerful energy flew Zhou Yan dozens of meters away, and he fell onto his back. His head had slipped into the hole dug by some prairie dog. Zhou Yan was speechless. Does this mean he was shot while lying down? Soon, a force grabbed his feet and pulled his head out of the hole. Sorry, I couldn't control it. Fuxi apologized very embarrassedly. It's okay, it's okay, I just want to help you. Zhou Yan spit out the dirt in his mouth. Is this what it feels like to eat dirt? Thank you very much, you know so much. Fuxi praised happily. Zhou Yan thought to herself, if you were born in the future, you could beat me dozens of streets away. Brother, at this time, a pleasant voice came. Zhou Yan took a look and found that it was also a beautiful woman with the head of a human and the body of a snake. The woman was also wearing animal skins, but her beautiful face was even taller than that of Diao Chan. Up a few points. Let me introduce to you, this is my wife, called Nua. Fuxi introduced. Hello, Sister Nua. Zhou Yan said hello quickly. Nua is also a legendary figure, but I don't know if it's true that she made humans out of clay. She is really beautiful, as holy as a fairy. Nua smiled at Zhou Yan, and then said, There is not much food in the tribe, and the clan leader is calling everyone to go hunting together. Okay, Fuxi replied, I'll go too, Zhou Yan said. They came to the tribe together. Today's tribes are still very primitive, and their houses are all thatched, which can only protect them from wind and rain. Although no one in the entire tribe knew him, they all regarded him as a member of the tribe, just as if he was a member of the wind tribe. He observed Fuxi and Nua along the way, and also observed the tribe. Although Fuxi had great wisdom, he had not yet begun to stand out, and many things had not been discovered by him. He found that the people in the entire tribe did not know much due to the limitations of the times. Most of them have simple minds and well-developed limbs, and they don't think about too many things, let alone other things. There are still a few wise people like Fuxi in the tribe, and they are the patriarchs of this tribe. Among the entire tribe, Fuxi and Nua were not the only ones with human heads and snake bodies, there were many others, which made him curious. The clan leader summoned young and strong men, 
brought simple wooden tools with spearheads made of stone tied to them, and began to hunt in the mountains. Their food source is very single, which is hunting. The clan leader was already old, so he left all the hunting matters to Fuxi, and then a group of people began to prepare. After Fuxi said goodbye to Nuwa, he came to Zhou Yan with weapons in hand and said, follow me. Okay, Zhou Yan replied, perhaps only by following Fuxi's growth all the way can we complete this trial. What ancient tribes lacked most was primeval forests and various beasts. They soon walked into the forest under the leadership of experienced people. The entire tribe was very strong, and Zhou Yan realized that he was the weakest one. He had been complacent about his burly figure before. Only then did he realize that he was a clown. Primitive people only had simple weapons, not even straw sandals. Although Zhou Yan also wanted to use his foresight to make the tribe stronger, he felt that this trial was not for him to come here to do these things. He should not sacrifice the good for the bad. You should follow Fuxi with peace of mind so that you can complete this trial as soon as possible. This is the right choice. The virgin forest has many ancient trees, intricate roads, and countless ancient behemoths. Under Fuxi's guidance, they avoided giant beasts and finally succeeded in hunting a few good animals, including an ancient deer and several animals that he couldn't name, which looked like wolves or sheep. The animals of this era are all very ferocious, far more than the tigers of the future. However, Fuxi and others are very powerful and arrogant, and can kill these animals with just one punch. Zhou Yan saw that their hunting methods were single, and almost all of them hunted in the most brutal way. Then he looked at Fuxi and said, Actually, I feel that there is a faster and more efficient way to hunt animals. Oh, what do you say? Fuxi also became curious. So, Zhou Yan started to talk about several common methods, such as entrapment, traps, siege and other very common methods. But this method, in ancient times, was a method full of great wisdom. Fu Zai's eyes lit up and he quickly understood the effectiveness of Zhou Yan's methods. He laughed and said, People in the tribe think that I am very intelligent. I think you are the wisest person. I will definitely recommend you when I go back. Be a priest. The position of priests in the tribe is extraordinary and can only be held by people with great wisdom. Zhou Yan quickly rejected Fu Shi. He did not come to be a priest in primitive society. After all, this is just a place of trial. After completing the trial, he still has to leave. At Fuxi's request, Zhou Yan told Fuxi these methods, and then Fuxi began to try them one by one. Sure enough, it didn't take long for them to successfully trap a leopard. The key is that Fuxi did not take action himself, and other tribesmen were able to hunt down the leopard completely. This makes them very happy. Because animals like leopards are dozens of times more ferocious than animals like deer, but they still did it, so they have to admire Zhou Yan. They also recognized Zhou Yan's wisdom, smiled kindly at him, and no longer considered him a burden. After a long time, they returned home with a full load, making the whole tribe extremely happy. Because the number of people hunting this time was far greater than any of their previous times, the key was that not a single clan member was injured or killed. In the past, when hunting animals, there were always casualties. This time, Thanks to Zhou Yan, he told Fu Shi many simple truths, which prevented their casualties. The entire tribe admired his wisdom. Only Zhou Yan himself knows, he just said some common sense. Only then did he understand how important, knowledge, and, culture, were. After that, Zhou Yan moved to a place closer to Fuxi. But Zhou Yan didn't expect that Nuwa had a younger sister, who was also a person with the head of a human and the body of a snake. She was also very beautiful, no worse than Nuwa. She was very curious about Zhou Yan. She heard that his wisdom was as great as that of Fu Shi. When she had nothing to do, she liked to listen to Zhou Yan say all kinds of interesting things. What's your name? Zhou Yan asked. My name is Empress, and I am Monster Race. It was Sister Nuwa and Brother Fuxi who saved me. The Empress was very cute and smart. From her mouth, Zhou Yan learned that there were many races in the ancient continent. Her race was wiped out by a great monster and the people fled in all directions. It was Nuwa and his wife who rescued her and brought her to justice. She brought it here. One day, the people of the Feng tribe were dancing around the fire. Zhou Yan thought it was their activity, but later he learned from the empress that they were doing this just to commemorate the meaning of fire. Indeed, 
Since humans had fire, they began to transition from raw food to cooked food. This also ended the life without light in the dark night. Tinder is definitely a day worth remembering. Zhou Yan also stayed here for several days. He didn't know how to complete this trial. He could only guide Fuxi step by step and let him know more knowledge. Fuxi would often take the initiative to ask him many questions that troubled his mind. He really didn't know many of the questions, because Fuxi's questions were too subtle and profound, and he could only tell some knowledge about the universe. Unfortunately, his knowledge is also very limited, and he only knows a rough idea. Even so, Fuxi benefited a lot and received a lot of inspiration. Zhou Yan couldn't help but sigh, this is talent. Fuxi could become the ancestor of humanities, so he naturally had his extraordinary wisdom and way of thinking. He just asked Fuxi to develop these potentials in advance. Later, Zhou Yan discovered that there was a river not far from the tribe. Tribes in this period would build their tribes where there was water. So, he guided Fuxi, why not fish to increase the food source of the tribesmen? What is fishing? Fuxi seemed very curious. So Zhou Yan began to guide him on how to use ropes to make a net, which could not only catch fish but also birds. He also successfully made him a simple bamboo raft boat so that they could fish on the water. On this day, Zhou Yan and Fu Shi were discussing some philosophy of heaven and earth by the river. Fuxi was talented and intelligent, and many things became easy to understand after receiving Zhou Yan's prompts. Even Zhou Yan benefited a lot and learned a lot from him. Suddenly, a tortoise shell walked up from the river to the shore, came to Fuxi, looked at him very intelligently, and then lazily began to bask in the sun. This black turtle is quite interesting. Fuxi picked up the black turtle, held it in his hand, and observed it carefully. Zhou Yan saw this scene and said, the black tortoise's shell seems to be very unusual. A-V-E-R-T-I-S-E-M-E-N-T. -E -E turtle shell. When Fuxi heard this, he carefully observed the tortoise shell on the black tortoise. It seemed that his heartstrings had undergone drastic changes, and he began to fall into some kind of epiphany. When Zhou Yan saw it, he thought, this is son of fortune. Just by mentioning a few things, he can understand astronomy and geography. He is worthy of being a person with great luck. Fuxi watched Zhao meditating for several days. At that moment, the yin and yang of heaven and earth gathered together to form a tai chi yin and yang array, covering the heaven and earth, and an indescribable sound of Tao filled the surroundings. Zhou Yan has been staying here for the past few days and has never left. The food was sent to him by the empress. Therefore, the moment the Tai Chi formation diagram was formed, the purest yin and yang energy between heaven and earth also descended on him. Zhou Yan closed his eyes, as if he had entered a chaotic world with nothing here, just like when he first awakened the heart of the Lord. A colorful light appeared in front of him. Zhou Yan looked at it and said in surprise, isn't that the heart of the Lord? He drifted over curiously, and the colorful heart of the Lord was enveloped in the yin and yang chi, forming a tai chi formation diagram. A profound and profound sound lingered around the colorful heart of the Lord. Zhou Yan didn't understand what it meant at all, but he could feel it was very subtle and unfathomable. The two qi of yin and yang transform into tai chi, and the tai chi formation diagram performs bagua. The colorful lord space turned into a colorful ray of light and entered the formation. A burst of colorful rays of light appeared. Zhou Yan closed his eyes. Then, an ancient scroll fell from the sky, exuding colorful brilliance. Zhou Yan was very curious, could it be that the color lord space and the yin and yang qi formed this ancient scroll? He held the ancient scroll in his hand, but when he saw what was on it, he was immediately confused. It was empty, nothing. How? Dot how could this happen? He really didn't understand what this meant. What was the meaning of a blank ancient scroll? For a long time, Zhou Yan didn't understand the reason and could only wake up from the state of consciousness. When he opened his eyes, he saw Fuxi standing in front of him, like a big brother, asking, wake up. You're awake too. Zhou Yan suddenly looked at a huge turtle behind Fuxi and said in surprise, where did that big turtle come from? I gained some insights from the tortoise shell and figured out a formation diagram. Do you still remember the mysterious tortoise in my hand before? Fuxi said. It can't be that little turtle, right? Zhou Yan said. It's exactly it. It has a lot of luck. I named it Black Tortoise. What do you think? Fuxi smiled and touched Black Tortoise's head. 
It seemed to enjoy it. This name is very good. It can be regarded as one of the four holy beasts. Zhou Yan replied. Four holy beasts. Foxy had just realized the Tai Chi diagram and had not yet understood it deeply. He did not know what Zhou Yan meant by this. Zhou Yan said, The Eastern Azure Dragon guards the Tianmen. White Tiger of the West, guarding Xuanmen. Vermilion Bird of the South, guarding the Yellow Gate. Northern Black Tortoise, guarding the Gates of the Earth. The four directions gather together, the sky and the earth are infinite, and we can withstand enemies coming from all directions. Foxy thought thoughtfully and said, It seems that you have more insights than me. No, it should be because of your favor. The two qi of yin and yang entered the body before, which helped me a lot. Zhou Yan said. Foxy smiled slightly at this. He was benefiting from Zhou Yan's words. Brother Foxy, brother Zhou Yan, wake up. The Empress and Nua came from afar and were very happy. Foxy said. The Empress seems to be very interested in you. If you are interested, I can ask the Empress what she thinks. Ah, this, brother Foxy, this is absolutely not allowed. I. Dot hey, what should I tell you? I may not be able to stay here for too long, so I'd better not let her down. Zhou Yan replied. Foxy looked at Zhou Yan carefully and said, It's true and false, it's both illusion and reality. How do you know it's just a dream? Brother Foxy, what do you mean by this? Zhou Yan felt that there was something in Foxy's words. When he looked at him, he smiled enigmatically and did not explain. In the days that followed, Zhou Yan continued to discuss the principles of heaven and earth with Foxy as usual, and learned some mysterious and mysterious things from him. He seemed to have realized something, but he felt like he had realized nothing. They learn from each other and learn a lot from each other. The Empress became more attentive, and the way she looked at him became very special. It wasn't that Zhou Yan didn't like him, it was just that he was not from this dimension, or from this era. He can't do anything without commitment. He could only try to avoid the Empress and think about how to end this trial as soon as possible. Foxy's understanding of Tai Chi Bagua became more and more profound after that. Although Zhou Yan was also responsible for this, it was mostly based on Foxy's own talent. Foxy taught him everything he had and began to create a method of cultivating the human race, hoping to use this method to strengthen the human race so that they would no longer be intruded and attacked by ferocious beasts. In this ancient continent, the human race is still very weak, and a huge alien beast can devour an entire tribe, which is very bloody and cruel. Human tribes often face the crisis of genocide. The purpose of Fuxi's move is just to make the human race stronger so that they will not become the meat of these ancient alien species. This move is a great merit, and it has profound meaning for the human race. Zhou Yan happened to have never learned any exercises, but his knowledge of the body and some unique understandings were something Fu Shi did not possess. He began to help Foxy perfect the most ancient human cultivation method. Although it was slow, both of them were not tired of it and often forgot to eat and sleep. Nuwa and the Empress have been dissatisfied many times. However, their physical fitness is very strong, and the aura of heaven and earth here is rich, so even if they don't sleep for seven days and seven nights, it will not have a great impact on them. Time flies so fast, at the beginning of half a month, they have perfected the first ancient scripture of the human race. But Zhou Yan felt that ancient scriptures like this must be described, so he began to guide Fuxi, the ancient scriptures will always be forgotten if they are passed down orally. It would be better if it could be described in words. Quote. Words, what are they? Fuxi asked curiously. It is to record these things in the form of images, and then let the whole clan learn and pass them on. Even if future generations forget them, as long as the words are still there, the inheritance will not be interrupted. Zhou Yan said, This is a great kindness. Foxy was very happy after hearing this. So, the two began to create words. They first started to draw them on the ground, but Zhou Yan found that modern words could not be written at all, as if they had been forgotten in his mind. This surprised him very much. He knew it clearly but couldn't write it down. He seemed to understand that this was because heaven and earth did not allow such writing to appear, and it had to evolve from the oldest writing. In this way, the two of them could only really start to create the text. Zhou Yan could only remind Fu Shi that the text could be drawn according to the appearance of animals. After confirming the text, Zhou Yan suggested burning the text on the tortoise shell. Thus, 
the first oracle bone inscription was formed. When the recording of this set of human ancient scriptures was completed, a golden light erupted from the tortoise shell, forming golden characters one by one. A colorful light enveloped the world and fell on the two of them. Zhou Yan and Fu Xi once again fell into a state of emptiness, just like the previous time when Fu Xi understood the Tai Chi Bagua. This time, Zhou Yan came to the chaotic space again, and words began to appear on the colorful ancient scroll, which happened to be the words created by him and Fu Xi. It turns out this is how this ancient scroll was used. He seemed to understand something. But it doesn't feel that simple. Because this is the evolution of his colorful heart of the Lord and Yin and Yang. He always feels that there is a lot missing, probably because it has not been completed. He felt that if this ancient scroll was completed, it might be the moment when his trial was completed. A mysterious feeling came to his mind, and the aura between heaven and earth turned into a sea of aura, constantly flowing into his body. The same is true for Fuxi. The two of them are like two black holes, frantically absorbing the spiritual energy of heaven and earth. Black tortoise next to him also benefited a lot. He was so happy that his eyes were fascinated and he began to enjoy the vast aura like the sea. A phoenix chirped, and a firebird circled the heaven and earth, and finally came to the two of them, and began to enjoy the spiritual sea. Then, above the clouds, a giant cyan dragon also sensed something, fell from the sky, became several meters in size, and lay beside the two of them. In the primeval forest, a white tiger with two wings on its body and bright eyes flew up and landed next to the two of them. They were very spiritual and guarded each side of the two of them, as if they were protecting them. Same. After the four auspicious beasts fell asleep around them, two Tai Chi formation diagrams formed from within their bodies. It eventually evolved into a Tai Chi formation diagram. Fu Shi is the Yin Ai, Zhou Yan is the Yang Ai, the four saints guard the four directions, the sky and the earth return to their original position, and the light of heaven falls from the sky and the earth, so that all creatures in the ancient world inexplicably feel the emergence and revival of an extremely terrifying force. Something extraordinary seems to have happened in the ancient continent. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.